Do you know who I am? Thriller City. You might need a theme song for your shit, Jump yourself. Hey, turn it right now, let this shit see then. JackThriller.com, we creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left, Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com, do it all night, hit the website. Hit us up real quick if you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Jack, about to go thriller, Jack Thriller on these niggas. All I need is a fucking red jacket with some zippers. That mm -hmm. way. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome back to New Jack Thriller City, man. Brand new season. Hey, we about to start it off with a bang right now, man, because I got my player partner, my homeboy in here. He got a brand new podcast, and he's sorry. Not sorry. Sorry the kid <laughs> and Lord <laughs> Owen. Let's go. That was, a good, that, was a, that was a good introduction. Come on. I know, right? Yeah, that was a good Come introduction. Come on, man. That was a good one. Man, hey, why the fuck y'all late, man, to my shit, man? No, I'm blaming. I'm blaming. Yeah, blame right. me for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. I was ready, sure. Jack. You were ready. I was at his crib for like an hour. What waiting. was he doing? Well, you want the honest answer? Uh oh, you ready for that, Jack? If you if you don't mind. Well, you want the honest answer, bro? If, if you really don't mind. Bro, I had diarrhea all week, bro. So every time, this is not my funny shit. Jack. And you touch my hand. I got I got a <laughs> I got diarrhea all week, bro. So every time I've been waking up, it's still been coming through. So like, I I spent like 30 minutes on the toilet. This nigga was outside for like an hour waiting on me. I was. Then I had to take another shower. For real, it was wet. It was one of them loose ones. Ass, you asked that. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. And then when we got in the car, it was like 55 minutes away. So it, it wasn't, it was my fault. The white, hey, he always on time. You know what? You know what's crazy? I accept that. <laughs> but, st but, st I, but, it's, still, but still, it's unacceptable, though. It, it's, it's unacceptable and acceptable at the same time, yeah. which is so weird. I'm torn. I'm torn right <laughs> it's now. It's a good reason, right? It's a great yeah. reason. It's a true yeah. story, though. Anytime, like, anytime you late somewhere, if you like, like have no shame and like like uh, I shit myself or I got diarrhea. Yeah, they are always yeah. gonna be like, damn, he really was going through. It. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hot, yeah. but now I'm not hot anymore. My brother, man. That you you made everything <laughs> better. I feel like it's always a catch when we link up, though. It's always, it's always me doing some dumb shit. Damn, Bruh. That's a true story. Do you do you do you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? I don't want to, I don't want to say shit. Him. Man, so <laughs> the, the year is. Uh -oh. Do you remember the year? Give me. The I year. don't remember the year. It had to be like me, me and K. Me and K. Camp wasn't even cracking for real yet, so it was like that was Camp first time in New York. So th th this got to be like 2013, 14. Yeah, early. So 2013, 14, man. Yeah. Sorry, and uh, K. Camp come up to G Unit, <laughs> and we we do an e interview. I ain't never heard of these niggas before in life. I had a little, it, I had a little buzz though. Camp, it, Camp was fresh, but I had a yeah, little. he was drunk. That, yeah, he was you drunk. remember that? He <laughs> was a nigga came in drunk. Yeah, yeah he had a little buzz. <laughs> and so yeah, they came in and shit. You know, so we had an amazing interview because that's what I do. No, you do. You that's do. what I do. do. Hell of a job. And whatnot. So you know, um, I, I I thought everything was cool. And mind you, this is a corporate building. Um, I'm work, I work for Fifty Cent at the time. We in this is Fifty dot com. Yo, um, I'm, I'm I get a, a alert from uh, Fifty. He cursing me. The fuck out. Motherfucker, you got some motherfuckers coming up here putting stickers inside the goddamn elevator and shit. You know, mind you, he's, he paid like 25000 a month Damn. for rent just for, to have the whole 15th floor Damn. to himself. Yeah. This this 15th floor is amazing. It's um really famous for a lot of crazy shit, but this was Damn. one of the first crazy things that I had ever witnessed that happened on this floor. Damn. And yo, Sorry, and K Camp put promotional. Camp stuff. ain't do it. It was, it was just me. It was just oh, okay. yeah. I, I ain't gonna do it. it was my stick. It was my project. He which, put which all album? his which? promo stickers it in the was, elevator. I think it was like ultrasound, like the one I did with Scream. Okay. Some shit was some old shit, bro. Like you put was, some live mixtapes days. Mm. Hey, let, let me let me ask you something. Cause go ahead, go ahead. this wasn't even one of them spots though, too, man. To do where that? you just no, it it didn't even look like <laughs> yeah. no shit, like no graffiti, no yeah. hip hoppy type place. Yeah, it was very corporate. It, it just sound like some real side shit for real. Yeah. It's like it's something you would do for real. Yeah, I, and I'm wondering for the life of me. Yeah, what made him do that? And I, once again, I never forget him because of this. So yeah, yeah. if that was the the, the, the point of it. Bruh, you have definitely get fifty attention because it worked. Because in my worked. head, I'm like, no, I'm yeah. here in the building. I'm gonna make sure somebody yeah, knows. That, that, it's that, ten that, years later, that and I remember like it was yesterday because I I thought this nigga was gonna kill me. You still got the text? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't have the text because it was a different phone, oh, but I, I definitely thought I was finna get fired that day. For sure. Yeah, it was, it, it was kind of crazy. Damn stickers, man. That's, yeah. That's, that's my bad. I mean, we was in our 20s back then, and it was like, at that time, the stick, I had, I had every form of promo back then. Because mm -hmm. you ain't really had like Instagram ads and shit back then like that. So it was like, in Atlanta, I was killing with that shit on the gas stations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then it was like, at that point, I'm thinking like, okay, everybody taking the same elevator. I'm not thinking corporate, I'm thinking 50. I'm thinking yeah. like, this nigga from the hood, like me, so this the least he gonna be worried about. Like This nigga ain't been in the hood in about <laughs> at that, yeah, 15 but, but, years. But I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking like, when I think of my idols, cause 50 one of them for me, it's like- You thinking, thinking about get rich or die trying, this yeah, nigga was already I'm rich. Like, I'm thinking like, the shit we had to do to come up, like yeah. he not, this light to him, this like, just peel it off with a razor blade. He not really tripping like, so I'm thinking like, 50 gonna come on this elevator, maybe he gonna see this, so I'm gonna, yeah, he saw it. I, you know now, was I mean? it a How single one, or did you get your four eyes on it and you just plastered the whole? I, I mean, I would stick everything. Like even like that one, the only thing I stuck that day. We hit like five buildings that day. Shit, Damn. but but it was, it was real good. And yeah, real the good. stick, the yeah. stickers was very stickers sticky. was better than flyers. So it was like mm. you know what I mean. I was putting that shit on people's backs. So I still do that shit for real. Oh man, yeah. It was very once again very effective. Guerrilla marketing and that is fine. I apologize though. I was, I was young and shit. I, I I didn't have no I ain't had no guidance back. Then. I ain't had no big homie. I ain't had no mentors like that for real. I, I, I once again, um, it wasn't cool at the time, but I appreciate the grind. And you, <laughs> when I when I tell you, Damn, I'm starting to see a pattern. You always have a good excuse for the bullshit. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Dude, I stand up for my shit though. Like if I make a mistake, you own it, and that's yeah. what makes me mad too. Because I want to still be mad at your ass. Yeah, nah, yeah, you was on me about that shit. Though. Yeah, you, you bring it up every time we did another interview. Yes, one hundred percent. I I I'll never forget it. You know, because people. They, they they don't forget how you make them feel. No, for they, sure. they definitely don't forget how you make them feel. Man. For sure, I ain't mean no harm. No. I was just trying, I was trying to promote, man. You're a great guy. Yeah, great I, guy, man. You. you know, shit, you know, even flew all the way here from Cumberland Mall. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, are your arms tired. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, what's up? This your boy Jack Thriller, man. Hey, you know what time it is? Jack Beauty of the Week, hosted by Sabado Domingo, Clayton English. Man, y'all know what it is, man. I'm here with Lane Devine. Let them know something about you. Where you from? I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, Where? yeah. That, 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 that start making a little more sense now. <laughs> okay. Why? Well, yeah, yeah. You done had fish and grits a few mornings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Man, man. Okay. What else we need to know about you? Tell the people a little bit more. I thought you were black, man. If you close your eyes. <laughs> Well, you you don't have to close your eyes. No, I don't have to close mine. Yeah, I I ain't I wasn't sure until you turned around. Um, but shut up, man. Don't, don't that's that's that like Alabama that. shit. Yeah, that's that Alabama <laughs> shit. You see? All right, but no, okay. Tell us something else we don't know about you. Anything else? Um, I breed French bulldogs. Uh, what? Frenchies? Yeah. And you be oh coming? you be taxing how much the Frenchies cost? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it just depends. The ones I got right now are three K, but you know. hey, she might have a little <laughs> little money too, man. I don't know what they look like. They might. They cute. You might just put a mustache on them. And call them <laughs> Frenchy. No. That's that's the goddamn pit bull. My, why my Frenchy keep getting big? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> she gonna call you too. This that Alabama shit. No, my French is supposed to be little. All right, let's go. You no, ready? They tiny. Okay, cool. No, that's dope. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, ready. Let's start it off. All right. Okay. Lainey, what's your definition of cheating? Mm. Um, let's see. Definitely, oh, uh, like having sex with other people. Flirting, okay, I can handle that. Like, I don't really care too much about flirting, but as long as you don't take it too far. Okay. Going out on dates, hooking up. Oh, that's cheap. Going out on dates. Yeah. Hooking up and sex is cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what? Buying them shit too. Don't be buying them shit. That's, she pretty that's over the line. That's, that is. Giving true. them money, buying them. Oh, you cross the line. Yeah, I, 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 I can see that. <laughs> is kissing cool? No, that's cheap. Too. It depends on how. It depends on what they what they bought. Like if my girl was cheap, what did he buy you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You might need to go back over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, see, maybe she that's pulled a up with a G wagon. Different. I said, uh, "Well, you know what you what are you doing here? If he's tricking on you, if you don't get back with that nigga, 
Yeah, go get me some more bread. I'm sorry, that's just where my mind. Look, but no, that's maybe for the if the girl is getting gifts, okay, yeah, that's a different story. But if my man is buying other bitches stuff, that's oh yeah, I, okay, yeah, all right. So I think that's a pretty clear definition. The cheat. Yeah. So yeah. all right. So you ain't got no uh, what they call area code rules out of town, and they one of them things. You ain't, Great that's question. still cheating or not? Yeah. Okay. If we in a relationship. Are you in a relationship? I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's a safe you know, space. People, you know, sometimes, like, I'm a dancer. Like, okay. so I'll lie and tell them that I'm single because, of course, it's a fantasy. Oh, they yeah, want to yeah, know yeah. that I'm single. Yeah, don't tell me about yeah. Buddy at home. Yeah, definitely. I'm... You know, he be on the game. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> hey, Clay, hold on. She's playing it smart. She smart. Clay, hold on. Clay, you care about that, though? What? If she got a man or not? No, but I don't. I wouldn't want to hear about this shit. <laughs> got you, got you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Any of your ex? What, if, what area of sex would they say you need it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so none of them would be like, you know what, like. Well, I. I don't really have eggs. What about eating booty? You did. You, Wait a minute. You how, want... What's up with your eating booty game? Oh, I don't do all that. I don't eat booty. Sorry. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like the butt stuff. Just I. You got all that butt, and you gonna waste it on? Okay. <laughs> I don't want it in my ass. I got enough coochie. Enough yeah, coochie. I don't, I don't... How, how much coochie you got? <laughs> it's never too much. Never too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm tripping. Y'all see, that's what's wrong with people. Oh, you see? Oh. We, 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 we keeping it civilized. We oh, I good. love it. We good. All right, so. But don't forget to ask her about that, that, um, the controversy with her, with the, with her, uh, her buns. What happened? What's the controversy? <laughs> she, th- well, she was at the, um. Oh, yeah. The uh, Miss Biggest Booty Pad. Yeah, the T-Pain Miss Big Booty. So mm-hmm. you were there. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the controversy? You was cheating? No. I swear, if you take your ass off when you leave out of here, <laughs> I, I'm fucking done. No, no. It's, it's back, over, bro. It's, back there. it's over. No, but I said I would. You might have to prove it before you leave. I'm sorry. I'm just bullshit. See that? There we go. But um, no, I said I, I could end racism with my booty. <laughs> now I'm not gonna argue with that, but <laughs> I need you to take me through the steps. What? What? How? How does this start? Well, I don't know. I mean, shit. This it, is it, can bring all races, religions, all that ethnicities together. You yeah, trying to be like, <laughs> like uh, Kylie Jenner in the Pepsi commercial? You <laughs> just show up and clap your ass and. Right, the whole protest shut down. It might world. work. <laughs> they need you at the polls, for real. <laughs> Which they need you been you been to the yeah, Civil Rights Museum? Uh, in Montgomery. Yeah, we took a field trip there when I was in elementary no, school. No, you gotta go by yourself. <laughs> you done went with the school. That don't count, man. They made you go. <laughs> they they made, made you go. go. If I didn't want to go, the I didn't spirit have to of go. all them people that march, they need to see you. <laughs> they need to be like, this is what he was talking about. <laughs> This guy's brilliant. <laughs> this is what he was talking about. <laughs> All right. What, what else? What, before we get out of here, give them where they can find you, everywhere they can find you. Also, where they can get them Frenchies at. Them big Frenchies. No, <laughs> damn. Maybe. <laughs> um, my Instagram dog. is lane underscore divine underscore. And that's where you can find me. Yeah, we that's out of here. That's about it. Let's do it. Jack Beauty of the Week, Lane Divine. Hey, Sabado Domingo, Clay English. Let's See you go. next time. Yeah, yeah, so you rep Cumberland. No, I don't rep Cumberland. Oh, shit. That's the mall on my side of town in Atlanta, though. Okay, so tell me about the significance of Cumberland and whatnot, because you put the you, mall. The, yeah, you you kind of put that on the map, like 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 it's inside of your uh, your earlier promo. Oh, for sure. I mean, 
Cumberland Mall is the mall in Kyle. Like, I mean, we don't really claim like town center and shit. That's too far up north. But mm, Cumberland, we, we like we really like to claim Cumberland because if you search Cumberland Mall, it actually says Atlanta. Even mm -hmm. though Atlanta say like Cobb ain't Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Not so, Atlanta. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but it's like Cumberland Mall and the battery is though. Gotcha. It, it is on a map. Like when, when you look up Cumberland Mall, it says Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So we definitely like that. Oh, 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 okay. I like where you're going with this. Yeah. So you you definitely consider that area Atlanta. I mean Metro Atlanta. Metro Atlanta? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We, we were just having this argument like on the internet. Like I I cranked some shit about all this shit. And it was like And on, what, on, what you say? I just was like saying that I don't be liking when a lot of people from like I felt like when people from the real Atlanta, because I wasn't born in Atlanta. I went to middle school, elementary school. I went to middle school in, the, in Fulton County, but in um, high school, I went to school in Cobb when I moved to uh, Cobb and shit. But a lot of people, when they say it, I felt my issue was they say it like it's an insult. And I, I don't fuck with that. Because, like, like, I was born in the Bronx, so, like, in New York, like, we'll never tell a nigga from Yonkers he not from New York. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's we, what we, I be saying. Like, we, we, like, like, if a nigga from Buffalo, like, Benny and them, them niggas good. We never go, you not us. We don't do that. So I feel like in Atlanta, it's like, I seen too many people make that, that point, and I feel like I put in too much work on every side of it. You ain't a Grady baby. I'm not a Grady baby, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, but, but, but it's like, what, nigga, what's your fucking point, nigga? I lost a nigga in Grady. My nigga Dunk died in Grady. So it's like, I don't want to hear none of that. You was born in, nigga, I will come to your hood, not disrespectfully, and get a fish plate, nigga. So it's like, stop playing. Like, niggas don't have not been through your city and pay homage. I've been at, I've performed at every open mic on every side of town, the hoods. Now I'm not talking about no suburban shit, bro. Like we came and saluted everybody respectfully. So I don't like, I don't like when niggas talk like, y'all ain't the real land. All right, and if I'm not, and I come to it, then what's the problem? Ain't gonna be no problem. It's gonna be, I'm gonna put a stick on your shit. Get, uh, a mm. oh, oh, a sticker. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I don't I'm like scared. the tonality of it. It's like, yeah, cause it don't be it's, nothing It's dividing like. us. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like it's division. On, yeah, yeah, it's like if niggas come here and show love and respect Atlanta. I, I done told people I love Atlanta to live way better than New York, and I'm my whole family from New York. But New York not a good place to live, grow, bring your family, be an entrepreneur. Atlanta is beautiful, bro, for black, uh, working black excellence, black entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great, bro. Like, uh -huh. and that's why I love the city. The networking is like, but when. It, all the young motherfuckers. I feel like it's the younger motherfuckers coming up doing it too. It ain't. It ain't, it ain't the legends doing I say that. The, same the, legend, thing. the legends. I say the same they thing. Know. It's yeah. the. It's these new young motherfuckers. Like watch your mouth, young and like. When you start doing the math and looking to where like even a lot of the icons from mm -hmm. Atlanta is from, a lot of them wasn't born here or a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's a, but but I'm never telling Ludacris, Chris Love, love. <laughs> you can't. You, ain't yeah. you no, can't I, do it. Yeah, I'm like, not telling Jeezy or Gucci. Y'all ain't Atlanta. Y'all nigga weren't born That's here. Happened. They break. We see don't top five like Atlanta rappers. Then you put them names and they be like, well, he ain't technically from Bow Wow, saying. not Atlanta. That's Cleveland. <laughs> JD's from this, and that's kind right. Of as That's much as they've Atlanta. done. Yeah, exactly. right. I don't like. I don't like that. Uh, oh, Ti trapped in trapped in Cobb. Like, got arrested in Cobb. Riverdale. He was over there. Man, cut the shit, that. nigga. That's cut Atlanta, the fucking though. shit. It's cause. Cause, Cause then if I put out a list of all the niggas I seen get beat up and shot and Cobb, then it's gonna be a bad day. Uh oh. Cause I'm I'm, I'm gonna take it there one day when they keep pissing me off. Put it on a sticker. And I ain't talking about rumors. I'm talking about facts. Wait a minute, mother. But I don't want to. I don't want to go negative. That's not a. That's not a cool thing. But it's like stop playing. Like y'all niggas wasn't coming to Cobb when it was a wave. You you a real life sour patch kid, man. You uh, can go there, Jack. I'm yeah, like, I see, man. I, I ain't gonna even front. I was a little scared go there, right bro. there when you just yeah. did that. No, don't do that. I kind of don't even want to know them. You came up with 50, man. Cut yeah, yeah, they're wind up the same, but I'm back home now. <laughs> Yo, you know what time it is. It's Foodie Call, man. Hosted by Moneybag Mafia. Money bag Let's Mafia, go. Man, let me say this first of all. This the meal I fell in love with. That jerk chicken. It, woo! Yes, 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 yes. You a it jerk. jerk you a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Seven nah. flavor, man. Get it off your chest, man. Let them know who you is right quick. Nah, before I'm we get into this meal, man. Man, we done seen him a foe, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, he a favorite, bro. They might, they, they might have forgot. Tell oh, you got a problem? You right, you right. You, I see what you did. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all yes, must yes. have forgot. <laughs> so we here with Chef Seven. I'm Chef Seven. You know, right here today, we got the jerk chicken for y'all. You know, as, as well known, maybe you heard of us, maybe you haven't. You have to come try it for yourself. Yeah, get that jerk we got the shrimp fried rice and coconut island coconut rice. Island you rice. know what I'm saying? We got all of it here for you. Listen, man. How many plates? Y'all gonna let me get two plates? Uh, no. 
What's up? What's up? Y'all gonna let me get two plates today. You can get two plates. Matter of fact, let me get seven. Must nah. be two plates. <laughs> Must be seven, two plates. This, 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 this don't come <laughs> off. This don't come you off. Know, okay, I got you. Marinated. How long did you marinate this? So right this here? is marinated overnight. You know. Damn. Is it possible to make jerk chicken from? I mean, jerk sauce from scratch. Yes, it is. How you make that shit? Y'all yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically, you have to have the original seasonings. Okay. okay. You know, you gotta have the original seasonings. I can't air it out because then I might, I might steal it. I might steal it, and then you feel me? I was gonna steal it. I was gonna steal it. So definitely, <laughs> so definitely it's married it overnight. You know. It's like we take our time with the food. Okay. It's not only the fact that we season it, we also marinate it into our jerk sauce. Not a lot of chefs do that. Right. And that's why the chicken comes out so dry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the way we the way we do it, we do it really different. We try to be creative with it and not have it tasting the same Y'all as do other do funerals too. We do everything. Repasses. Bro. We do everything, bro. Okay. Okay. You know, the, the the most that we have served is four hundred people. At one time. At one time, you know, at an event. So we 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 do it. We do it, you know what I'm saying? What about divorce parties? The voice party. What's the voice parties? Divorce. Divorce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know we hit any event. (laughs) Any event. Any event is sad or happiness. You know we there to support because you know what? Whatever event is, this this food's gonna make you smile. You feel me? So I want to smile. I want to pay you to come to my crib. No homo shit. To cook the food. (laughs) And then leave, then I'm gonna tell the whole I cooked it. That's what type of time. <laughs> we gotta lock in like that, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, man. You know it's crazy. I had a similar story. You know, I went to an event, I brung the food, they ate the food, and they said, Yeah, did your mom cook this and you just brung it here? And it's crazy, you know, I get all types of reactions. So I'm not surprised that so you y'all said that. Family cook too, like your mom and shit. Your no, mom? no, no. My mom really cooks, but my mom is not here no more. So okay. I've been cooking ever since, you know, she passed away. So she handed you a lot of these recipes. Yeah, 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 just from kids, you know, from being young. We, my brother, we used to watch her in the kitchen. So okay. And we just picked up our own style of it. That's one hell of a thing to pick up. And it's a hustle today. Yeah. It's a career. Mm-hmm. Seven flavors, Seven man. Seven flavors. Let them folk know where to find them. So we know we on Instagram. Mostly on Instagram, but we on all platforms, you know. We deliver. We cater. Anything you need, we dare. Man, go open up a shop in Atlanta, man. Quick y'all don't want to. It's on the way. Y'all keep supporting. We're going we gonna, to we gonna be there for y'all. You, nah, for real. We fucking with Atlanta very much. We fucking with the South real heavy because they show a lot of love. Yeah. From day one, ever since I moved out here, I've been out here less than a year. Okay. I, you know, I ain't know nobody when I came out here. I had at least a, a thousand followers. Now I'm about to hit 20, 20k right now. Hey. So you know, man, give it up for that. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah. You deserve yeah. that, bro. Yeah. You the real deal, my boy. God bless. God bless. God bless. Yeah. Foodie call. Foodie call. <laughs> yeah. Who you were born at? I'm um I'm born in Albany, Georgia, raised in Decatur. You a country nigga? Yeah, super country. Damn. Albany. I would have known that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what if you listen to how him talk though. Yeah, but it's one of the biggest misconceptions about me because and mind you, I left and new face to mm. tell you, I left to go to New York in 09. Oh, you left to go up uh. there. The, yeah, the, the, in the, this is fifty shit had me uh. thinking you were from Jamaica Queens. <laughs> I did. That's crazy. Hey, how, how far from the truth is that? The new face. <laughs> hey, nah, he, he own it. He own I it. Did. Hey, <laughs> where, where was you born at, bro? Detroit, Michigan. You from the fucking D? From See, Detroit. And look, look how much we didn't did for Atlanta. This is crazy. Look here. how much we didn't did for Atlanta. Freak Nick was here, and I ain't been back. I was since. there. <laughs> Come okay, on. okay, mm-hmm. new face. So shit like that. Can these niggas tell you? But look how much. Your culture, you know, in that's what people tell me. It's look, like you look, my look how much you remind Atlanta. niggas of this, and this. it's like, can a, can a motherfucker tell you you're not Atlanta? I wouldn't give a fuck if they did. But, you don't care, yeah, but they can't. I would fuck. care for you. Yeah, yeah. That, if a, that's if, what happened. If a nigga came in here right now and said, "Man, new fam, man, you from the D?" I'm wild out on them. I, 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 I'm gonna turn up for real. It will fuck my I'm head up. The, shut up, bro. Shut the fuck up. It's like, and that's like what happens. The, I say I'm from Detroit. They be like, "What the fuck? Man, you from the D, bro? From the D." I thought y'all were from Bankhead or some shit, man. Oh shit, that's good. I did too. I ain't gonna front. I, I definitely. I, 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 hey, where were we coming from when, when we was on our way to the uh, to prank Boy. that Soldier Boy video? We, I was on the West End. We was, we, we was, on, the, the we was on the Martyr together, going to the Soldier Boy video. Coming from Seattle. I had on the Superman the and everything. Yeah. I was on sand. It's like, bro, I used to ride the Martyr to go to run and shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. When I Al-Kan. had that first court, that first court on the corner where all the grown folks played, and they had to use to dribble the ball, and the ball wouldn't bounce. <laughs> 
Stop playing with me, dog. Because the flow is fucked up. Like, come on, man. Y'all can't tell caught me. caught that 86 into Decatur. I was on, on that bro. 86. <laughs> come on, West bro. Niggas used to sneak on them all in the back door. I lived on Snap Stop Snapping. playing with niggas exit. We used to go yeah. in the yes. back door so the bus driver ain't see us. Exactly. Like, I've been... Stop playing with me, dog. Like, okay, come on now. Stop playing with me. I was now. so skinny. I would go by the turnstiles when Marta had the turnstiles. The turn, with the turn... Uh, you, okay. you put a penny in. <laughs> you put a penny in and you just walk real fast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But only I could do it. People like, oh, I'm going to try to do it. Then they... Yeah, they like, uh, I was like, I yeah. always had big hips. I couldn't make it through wow, that time. Man. That nigga said I had big <laughs> Yeah, he always You, you, you try to go through there like this. Right. So, yeah. Never worked. Hold on, right. man. Got caught every time. I just don't be lying. I just feel like, man, it's, it's only niggas that do stupid shit like that, bro. It's like, mm-hmm. even in New York, like, I only lived in New York for nine years. And I seen, the, I seen this uh, reel going around, you ain't from New York for real if you ain't lived there for 10 years. Man, all right, man, suck my dick, bro. <laughs> man, I go home right now and get like, the sandwich on my corner, bro. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when I go to my hood, it's love. Like, everybody know, like, when I go to the Bronx and Grand Concourse, it's love, but it's like, you still see, oh, people People say, say that to me all the time, like, oh, you left when you was nine, and, but I go home all the time. It's like, it's always something with niggas. It's like, you never, you never enough. It's, yeah. I'm different, too. I'm able to go back to Detroit. A lot of the people that left, Mm. I still go back. Still go that's, back. Why I, that's how I am how I am, too, because you got to go back home. Oh, you still go, yeah. oh, oh, your family up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I finally brought my mother here recently. Yeah. You know, so, oh, you, so. you was down here by yourself? Came CAU, Clark. I so brought you my whole it. room. I left. Mm. I brought my whole life in Detroit. Mm. Traded in a Cadillac, and now I'm in Atlanta on Marta. Mm. So you, hold on, time. So you really came down? You were one of them freak nigg- niggas for real? Yeah, I told yeah. you. I wish I had. I mean, that. I imagine though. Would you have fucking left? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna go back home. To no, it, it was hard to come come back up. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. were the freaking too. Were... Yes, Damn, bro, I... all too young for that shit. Damn. No, no, man. Smell my finger. I still got some freaking. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You smell the Hulu. I'm on straight, my... man. I'm straight, Jack. All right, cool. That's yeah, it, it went down on here. Freak Nick documentary. You know, my footage is in there as well. Shout out to Get out of here. I got I to gotta, I gotta watch it for real. Yeah. You, I, 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 I had a, the credits. I had an OG told me during Freak Nick, he, he was running around with a camcorder that didn't work be, oh. because as soon as he would point it at some shorties, they would start just turning up and going wild and, and cranking that shit. So yeah. But the camcorder wasn't recording. The camcorder wasn't recording. <laughs> Mine was working. <laughs> I got it all. Damn, damn, that shit. Is it is it true that they was like fucking outside and shit? Yeah. Yes. Or well, people was, had yes, a or pimps had a, a van full of women and you just kind of go take your turn in the U-Haul trucks, that type of It was damn. going down like that. Yes. So that thing about smell his finger, I seen some finger. Oh on. yeah, man. And and at the time I was doing the wrong hole. Oh. So it was damn. Yeah, it was it probably oh. do still smell that. <laughs> yeah, it's still that's yeah, it really crazy. Do. Freak juice on. Yeah. I'm, I'm so mad I missed that. But Freak Nick was just they was just getting freaky everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace Tree, Metropolitan. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to watch that. Uh, what, what app is it on? Hulu. You, you on, know what? It, I don't think it's a really good. I, I don't own it. Hold on. If there's anybody that's offended by this, that it was involved in making it. Mm-hmm. It was it was cool, but I thought it was gonna be something else, uh, a little bit more. We all um, did. Like what? Like what? Like deep. Like so, they use a, they pay for a lot of my footage and they probably use less than they use because mm. my footage is probably graphic and I think a lot yeah. of people wanted to see titties and ass and yeah. what they oh, got oh. was like the story, the history, oh, okay. and oh, maybe it, one. It, it didn't really cheap. go explicit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This could have been probably on Lifetime. Was yeah. It, was it something like when you mm. was here? Like when you was here when it happened, did you did you know it was like something coming up? Like were you like waiting for it to? Or yes. Did it, or did it just kind of happen? Mm. Mm. No, it it was something that you always waited for, especially yeah. you like, planned for. Yeah, you you planned for it. Damn. For real, man. I used to Took come trips. to Freak Nick with no drawers on, oh, <laughs> and my pants <laughs> unzipped. But I started with drawers on. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Damn, yes, man. walking around outside. But, but to me, the best part was like, you know, I'm from Detroit, so we didn't see a lot of celebrities. So, but yeah. Freak Nick, I'm going to Lenox Mall. It looks like compound or one a club, and yep. you're seeing mm. two short red men. Everybody, I'm Jermaine Damn. Dupri on Damn. four wheelers and Chris. Yeah. Like I'm seeing like right. rappers, but like yeah. next to me, not like oh on stage. Yeah. Like mm. you know, yeah. we in the same in the food court, and you mm-hmm. like, damn, that's fucking third base, and that's. I'm like, Andre 3000 walking Yeah, Andre was walking in the street. Damn, Damn. Bro. <laughs> Yeah. 
Car, you on the freeway, 85 South, and this is a freeway. They yeah. getting out the car, just sitting in, like in traffic, because traffic is not moving. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, yeah. this is heaven, bro. Right. This is heaven. L ladies yeah. with super bushes. That's before. Oh, yeah. Super bushes? Before, that, what you call the thing where they got yeah. landing strip? Landing strip. Yeah. They didn't that. have nah. that back there. Nah. It was just a whole, what's a yeah. strip without the, the landing part? No, I don't know. What is this? It, it like that wig. The forest. That, that oh, yeah, it was all bushes? It was Forest Park. Damn. Oh my God. It, yeah. You know what though? We, yeah. we, we gotta blame y'all for that though. Why why was y'all why was the OGs letting women just have the crazy like y'all wasn't telling them? Was, you know what it is? Was, you, yeah. you know what it is? I, that shit used to be sexy. Used to be sexy. Yeah, to see, like a bush ass bush, coochie bush. and bushy booty hoes and it's all It's crazy that. how shit like that mm -hmm. has its moments of like bush is cool and now it's not cool. It looked it grown. <laughs> it looked it grown. It depends on what you went through that day. It looked it grown. Oh, it looked grown. Yeah, it looked it grown. It, it looked very mature. Yeah. Very mature. It was mature. Because I used to yeah. sneak and see them Playboy magazines, and it looked like how I was yeah, they a kid. Had like, some, they had some. Yeah. But yeah. only thing would be crazy when you see a little PP pee, pee juice in there, oh, and it's like a little jerry curl inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was so glowing in it. And that no, should be no, crazy. Okay. A little bit of pee pee on the bush. A little bit of pee pee juice. Pee pee on yeah, the bush just sitting there. Because they didn't wipe that oh. hell. And uh, you, you, you know, know what I'm talking about? When did baby wipes start to kick? When baby wipes, went, everybody baby wipes went in style then. It wasn't always it wasn't in style in for real. No, no, it wasn't in style then. That shit changed. Like, you used to like the way the PP. pee Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, you used to definitely have to deal with the pee pee snitch. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. shit. That it smelled like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. It smelled like pop. Like, oh, baby, was, baby, baby wife's turn came into a thing. I don't even think I used tissue well, no Freak more. Nick was fun, but it was musty, too. It was a little musty. Yeah. But musty was good back then. Yeah, yeah, musty wasn't musty back then. Probably. Yeah, musty wasn't musty. They were like, oh, Musty was like flavor. That's pheromone. Like added flavor to it. Yeah, it's a little flavor. And then yeah. midweed was popular back yeah, then. Yeah, it's you like know, adobo. Mid yeah, I was talking about, I was yeah. talking about that. The weed was like. Oh, like mid? Yeah, like oh, we Reggie. Was, we Super Reggie. That's crazy. Everybody was smoking Reggie back then. I don't know where to find mid now. Can you like oh it's us out there? No, I was I was just telling niggas, bro. Three five a three five is the new dime bag. Yeah, right. it, is. it is. No, it is. It is. Like, bro, if a motherfucker get a get a if you get anything less than a motherfucker's ass sick, bro, let me get a dub. I'm like, bro, man, get I mean, the fuck there was a face, song bro. called "I Got Five on it. I got it was five, five on it. Is and five yeah. niggas was a Nick bag. that yeah. song. Yeah. So that's <laughs> was a yeah. Nick bag. Yeah. I was a Nick weed bag. ain't been five, five dollars in so long. Yeah, that's crazy because you used to, like, I remember when, like, Loud was first becoming popular. And mm -hmm. Some motherfuckers didn't have money for Loud. Yep, it was quiet. So you would go, like, <laughs> you would go get some Georgia, <laughs> some quiet is crazy. Mm -hmm. It was, you would go get some Georgia mid or, like, mm -hmm. some popcorn mid. They had little <laughs> names for the mid and shit. Pop. And then it always had seeds in it and shit. And, yep. then, and then it's like, it's like one day that Pop shit secret. just fully switched. And I didn't even see mid no more. Rap, mm. Rappers did that, bro. Mm -hmm. Black niggas mm -hmm. did that shit, bro. Yeah, when, when people came out with that, with the Cali Kush, and then you started- and Dro. And Dro. And Dro. Yeah. Dro, 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 Dro was one of the first louds I remember, though. People, yeah. people being like, I got that Dro and shit. A lot of niggas ain't even have they Dro. They didn't have Dro. They, they was they calling it Dro. Dro. It was Stop fake. Stop fucking yeah. capping, yeah. bro. Yeah. None of you niggas. Chronic. Everybody listen to Doja. me and Dro remember back then. Yeah. Doja. Yep, Nobody. As much as we love Dro and was riding to that shit and singing so shoulder lean, nobody had Dro. Yeah. None of my niggas had Dro. I don't think Dro had For sale, Dro. nigga. <laughs> Dro ain't nope. had Dro? Nope. Dro ain't Dro ain't had I gotta Dro. ask you. That's crazy. I gotta ask Dro. <laughs> It was it, was it was a lot of Reggie and look at the on. first like, Dro album cover. It, what, what was that? Was Dro that shit. Look at the first Dro album cover, his first record. Look at that joint. That was I, I remember Dro. like right around the, 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 the like, the, like Ascension or like Wiz and shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got Then it was like, oh, everybody got loud now. So yeah, yeah. When, when Wiz like hit his yeah, peak, yeah, like the stoner rapper for that generation. It yeah. was all the rapper. And I'm no, Cam. Cam had this shit called Purple Haze. Purple Haze. And it had everybody feeling like if you didn't have that. You was smoking some bullshit. Was, yep. Can't fuck everybody up with yep, that. Yep, he sure did. Every, every region had, the, yeah. whenever artists had the, the chronic and purple haze, mm -hmm. and it was like, yeah. it's like, oh, we, now we got to do that. It was that right. trendy. Because I remember Lloyd Banks on a verse was like, half a pound of that Manhattan, Manhattan Brown. Brown. And I was like, I don't, know, I don't know what that? Manhattan Brown is. What the fuck yeah, was that? Yeah, I remember nah, that. <laughs> Jada Kiss said the Kush ain't purple, it's lavender. I was like, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Hey, what about Chocolate Tide? D'Angelo did that. Yep, come on now. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn, I never seen this. That bro. was no. That, that was, was no. definitely no. That was not no joke. Oh my God, bro. 2001? Damn. Oh my God. Uh, with uh, Rocco. Shout out to Weed Bro, then man. came a long way, yeah, man. Yeah, weed, bro. man. That shit crazy. And how do y'all like the weed now? I got all the colors and the... I never, the, smoked, um, I never smoked before. Fantasies, stuff. I never smoked before. A lot of that shit be sprayed on, too. 
That too. It yeah. be sprayed off. That's what they be saying. Spraying it in the sink. You see that purple spraying come it. off. Yeah, it's spraying it. I will say, I do remember like back in the day, like you'd be like with your boys and y'all would light up like five, ten, however many blunts. Mm-hmm. That shit is dead though. Like like now, I, I I can smoke one or half of one sometimes, and I'm like I'm straight. So I don't know if that's me and like w- or whatever. But you think it's because you you just getting older? It, it might you, be. Your talent. Well, I just remember, I'd be like, what the fuck was we on? Where it was like four of us and we was we was rolling up like ten blunts and passing them around niggas, for, man, for no niggas, reason. Niggas follow the rappers, bro, and start yeah. following trends and. Then they start judging what you got and all that yeah. shit. But the, the, that's why the, all the real hustlers, like, they deal with the girls and college people. I, I never got into they, smoking. They, they, they but, ain't got to deal with all that. Right. I never got into smoking because just uh-huh. what he just said, just yeah. because what Owen just said about the, the, the guys passing it around, like, oh, that was in his mouth. Damn. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it. It was yeah. like, yo, that's kind of like me. Man, shout out to my sensei, Carlos, man. He said some profound words. It's no like matter this. how big you stuff that backwood, you ain't going to get no higher. Hmm. They be having these big old bats. Big old I be blunt. like, yeah, big that, ass fucking. And that's the thing now. Smoking has changed to where like it used to just be someone rolled a blunt. You know, like Swisher Sweets was popular or Wide Owls, whatever. Now it's backwoods. Oh yeah. Then they take the graba leaves or whatever, the the different types of leaf and put the tobacco leaf in there. So then they weed. roll it in a separate paper. It's a lot going on really now. So much. Where it's put like filter in it. Yeah, it's like you smoking tobacco and weed now. It's just. I don't know. I got one that he had so macaroni right. at the end of it. I guess to spiral it out. Oh, yeah, macaroni the macaroni shit. thing. Macaroni? Yeah. You put the macaroni yeah, at the see, tip. It's, it's too much now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Filthy. Jesus Christ. Might be time to bow out. Hey, man, so tell me about this podcast y'all doing, man. This, you know, not sorry. I mean, I, I've been I've been supposed to probably do a show a long time ago. Okay. Why yeah. now? I mean. In a game where they say it's so oversaturated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is oversaturated. I mean, but it's like everything is. It's gonna be a lot of mixtapes was oversaturated. Yeah, it's man. like I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be. I I don't never look at shit like that. Like I mean, because there's there's a thin line between doing what everybody doing, and but I feel like you can add flavor to whatever you got going on. You sound like a K Swiss commercial. You know Put what your saying? spin on it. Yeah, yeah, nah, facts though. I, that, that's actually a good slogan. But um, for a while I I wasn't gonna do it because I like to execute my plans like a year in the head. So when it, when the shit was going on and. I was supposed to do it with somebody else. Mm. Um, cause the, the first person asked me to do a show was Tokyo Vanity back in the day. But oh, wow. What, you was hitting that? Nah, shit, that's, that's, that's fam. Okay. <laughs> oh, it could be Princess. Yeah. That's uh, fam, that's, that's fam. Dope. But she's sexy, though. Yeah, one, one, no, that's a big No, drink. I was happy for you. Yeah, sexy. Big <laughs> that's crazy. Definitely, 100%. Yeah, but, um, but, but back then, my mind wasn't set to do no shit like that. Like, okay. Um, and then I, I had a couple people that was like trying to invest into it and do certain things. Mm. But at the time, a lot of people don't know is as I was getting out of my cash money deal, I was still paying on it. So I, me financially, and then I, I went and got like multiple bags from like different places as well as making my own money as a hustler. But it was like, I had owed so much for my distribution. I, I didn't want to get into nothing else. Cause me, you know, I'm a, I like to be a boss on my shit. I like to own all my shit. Mm-hmm. So like, if I do it, I got to put my own bag up. If it costs 70, 80, 100, whatever, I want to put my bag up. And my money was invested in other things. So at that time, I was like, nah, I'm not doing it at that time. Okay. And then you know what were you investing in then? I mean, I, I got a lot going on. I, I mean, I got, I, I bought my house. You know, I was taking care of my parents. You know what I'm saying? I um, cleaned my mom's credit and shit. That took a, l- a little while. You cleaned your mama credit? Yeah. Rappers After don't do that. yours up. Nah, she ain't fuck mine up. She told me not to use it, though. Okay, so she, card away, baby. she didn't never put put the light bill in your, right. your name or nothing. Nah, she, my mom ain't do none of that. My mom was tossing credit cards though. As soon as I was eighteen, all that shit, throw that away. That's too much. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, uh, and then um, and so and then I, you know, I started my transportation business. So I, I have put cars on Turo. I bought a Sprinter. Mm. You, you know, back when Sprinters first got in, yeah, like, all, like yeah. it was like a few niggas. Like I think at, at the time it was just like me, Lucci, mm-hmm. Street Exam. It was only like four or five niggas had a had a Sprinter at the time. I was one of them. Okay. I had went and got uh, the one that was a little smaller, the 2500 mm-hmm. before it was extended. Then I mm-hmm. got the extended one, and I found out a nigga that was tricking them out in Missouri. Um, yeah, same place where, like, I think uh, QC got that shit done. Like, mm-hmm. I had found out who was doing that shit out there. So uh, around 2018, I had got that done, and then I had got drivers and shit, and I, I started realizing, damn, these rap niggas don't own their Sprinter. So mm. I started killing. I started like getting booked on tours and shit for like my Sprinter. For, at first, it was like some of my street nigga homies was asking to rent it. You know what I mean? To go on there. And I'm like, I'm about to goddamn start making this a business. You know what I mean? Then I went and bought me a black truck, put it out on tour and shit like that. Got a sports car. So I got into that. And then I um, still was doing a little things on the side we ain't going to talk about. And mm-hmm. then 
And then I had, and then once I got out of my distribution um, debt, I was like, you know, now I could put my money in other places. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, now I could go find me a building. And Tokyo Vanity and Asian Dog, they had a suite over there off of Colony Square where they were selling their merch. And uh, I had went up there one day, and I and I called. I told, I said, Tok, where the fuck was that play shot? Because it was like real corporate, real nice. Something like 50 joint, you know what I mean? But you just don't put no stickers in there. Hey. And uh, <laughs> I went and got me a spot, man, and started my show. And then I ended up hitting my man, oh, because I was like, you know, I want to build from the ground up. You know what I mean? Because at that time, Tok was actually about to start hers on her own, she had told me. So I didn't even think to call back, call her back and be like, yo, let's get it going. Because she told me she was about to start her own joint. And so I hit my men. I was like, yo, I got an opportunity for you, bro. If you want to, you know, grind this shit up from the ground up. Mm-hmm. And that, that's, that's how we started it. Got I you. remember being at events. Like, probably think back in the day, you was on the early ones with a sprint. And you had your merch outside. You know, I think maybe yeah. ATL Touch. One of them events. But yeah, you was yeah, all, yeah. probably the chosen few that mm-hmm. I remember vividly. Having, yeah. like, a truck. You would be out there after the event, posting mm-hmm. up, selling posters of merch. And, you know, I was like, yeah. that's hard. Because everybody else probably just was going... Yeah, I, it was just big on me to own shit back then, bro. Like, I, I, I was, I'm not saying it was easy, cause, but I think that that's a lot of the things you had to do in Atlanta was, if the, if you was going to have that respect, you had to have, you had to be one of the made niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like I was always that special. On, my, on the north side, like everybody always knew me, like, mm-hmm. that nigga getting money. I, I don't know how. If you wasn't my fam, you really didn't know how I was getting the bag. I love to keep it like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And so it was always like, but, you know, <clears throat> even with the sprinter shit, like, a, as I was going up, my my... The people that got my shit the most, like shot at the Res Deshaun, Tokyo, like they Suki, you know, uh, these all fam. Trouble, rest in peace. Trouble used to fuck my sprinter up. He was, he was right. one of the rest how in did, peace. Yeah, how do you deal with that? Is it the same Security way when deposit. you um, mess like a, a keep Uber it, I'm, up? I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Okay. <laughs> Me and Trouble, we not I never got in an argument about it, but I had to talk to that nigga a lot about that shit, bro. Stop doing this, bro. Stop doing it. Stop bumping the table. My bad, thug. My bad. I mean, it was the worst shit though. Like scratches. Mm. His niggas would ask cigarettes like in the in the cup holder. Like I'm like school. No more cigarettes, bro. Is it like yeah, after bro. a week or like one night of? Not like mm-hmm. One was, night. Like it was one, one night, night, nigga. Like yeah. spilling shit, bro. Liquor everywhere. Like, you, you could tell it wasn't. It was like more him being who he was. It wasn't him like, oh, I'm disrespecting your shit. No. He ain't mean to. It, it just yeah, was, it was like Scoob was get Scoob, him. you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think his meetup spot was was the Arbor. bluff. Oh, yeah. Was the bluff. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the yeah. center of it. Uh, when it didn't even have to be that. He had a nice yeah. crib somewhere else. Yeah, facts. So it's like, you know, I had an Airbnb in the bluff, like right around the corner from there. Oh, you, no, you, that, that I didn't tell his niggas about. That was a trap house. Bro. Yeah, I ain't tell them niggas about okay. that. Okay. No, we weren't even trapping out of that. Like, that was a Airbnb. trap B&B. But not, it was an Airbnb because they were gentrifying. They were they just taking their time over there. Oh, okay. I thought I hit a lick, but it was like they was taking so long. The, 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 the people, the clients was complaining. <laughs> yeah, I bet they was. Yeah, they was like, every time we come outside, they complained to Airbnb and told them it was like junkies outside. Uh, yeah. I'm like, y'all ain't cleaning that shit up yet. But it was about a Mercedes-Benz Stadium, so I thought I had a lick. Oh, okay. On the Airbnb, I had pictures of the stadium. You, you over here by Techwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, but Jack, you yeah. peep how the circle of life goes around. He comes in 50 studio and puts stickers up, and then trouble puts other shit. Yeah, in. Fuck my yeah, 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 bro. yeah, <laughs> bro. Damn, that shit. Crazy. Them niggas goes around. Man. Matter of fact, trouble was so bad with that. All the other sprinting companies, they, they would tell him no. Yeah, he couldn't book with them. He couldn't book with nobody. He didn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't answer the phone. He was like, man, these motherfuckers ain't answering, bro. Like, bro. I, and I, and and I told him, I said, I said, bro, I'm keeping a buck with you, bro. They don't fuck That's with how you tan they shit up, bro. But why would you, I told him straight up? But why you kept fucking with him? I had to. Like you, he was be, you be, be, because school Stand is up. from where I'm from. Was like, it, it, school? If you know school, he a made nigga though. He did have his issues. He he, he did have his issues. So he was threatening you. Nah, he ain't never threatened me. Oh hell no! Nah. Nah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it would never nothing like that. School nah, was just, school hey, was just hey, so hey. stand up. You had to fuck. He was a real nigga. He would he would. He this would still doesn't make sense. It, it don't make sense. Why it don't make you sense? Would you would still no rent to, to this guy. He, he don't he say would. no to a nigga like that. He That's would pay for because it. Because why for. wouldn't you say no? School to a would nigga pay. Like... School would pay and show love. Yeah, but if I be like school, bro, you got them, man. This this nigga, he'll pay for it. Okay. Oh, okay. If if, if I show him and tell him, but 
It was just like Slim Duncan, bro. Me and Dunk got, we didn't grow Hold up. Hold on, we're going to get there. We're going to okay, get there. Okay, Let's stay like, right here. We're going to <laughs> Dunk next. We're going yeah, to yeah, Dunk yeah, but, but, We're going to Twin Towers oh, next. Okay, okay, okay. But that, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's my example. When you're dealing with a, it's like I always related to that, them cra that, that crazy nigga from his side of town. I always Because you, you know what I just saw from real life? You're fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. thought of for sure. Th that's what's going on right now. Yeah. Okay. And his so, birthday. So, Your birthday the day before mine. Jan January 8th, for real? I'm ninth. Damn, that, that's what's up, bro. It's Capricorn. Yeah, I, I, I think it's that. You ever seen the movie Split? Yes. Yes, yes. Jump to the end of that movie. He was he's about to kill all them. He was about to kill all the girls until he realized that Shorty was just like him. You understand what I'm saying? It was no. Like, no. Okay. <laughs> he he was he was killing everybody, but then he didn't because he realized she had the same scars as him, so he spared her. Okay. So it's like when you when you come from it's like I don't gotta be from his exact hood, mm -hmm. but it's like when I see certain little shit like like a motherfucker stole my car on tour. Uh, I was gonna t ask you about yeah. that type of shit too. Uh, a little nigga stole in Morrow, and I had an Apple tag on it. I had an Apple thing on it, and I found his ass. Me and a tow truck driver pulled up on this nigga, and he never came to the door. But the girl did because they was hiding my shit in the garage. But I didn't, and I could have sent him. I could have sent the police to the front door. But when I looked at it, I had his license from the Toro app, and, and I seen his age, and I text, I said, Lahomie, I said, you, I said, I could have went about this two ways. I could have found you and got some hands put on you, or I could have got you locked up, and I'm not going to do neither one. I said, bro, watch how you moving. Because the wrong nigga, bro, would have blew your head off, for real. You took a fucking $130,000 car. You know what I mean? But I spared him because I used to steal. So it's just like I couldn't see myself doing nothing harmful to him because I got my car back in one piece. Okay. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was wrong with my car. Nothing was wrong with it. No, and Toro paid me for that for that trip too. Okay. So it was like I couldn't see myself doing that. How long was your car gone? It wasn't gone that long because Toro let me know that they paid with a fake credit card. He was about to steal it. He had already took it, but it was the trip was still going on. What kind of car was this? Corvette. The brand new Stingray. All red. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you, you were supposed to steal that nigga. <laughs> I just I just can't because it's like. Nigga, I don't know how many niggas you I hung with. I nigga for no reason, bro. Rod the nigga, so dope. Bit nigga. You know how many niggas I got coming into jail and coming out? Like, yes, like, I do. I, I hate <laughs> niggas do that, though. Y'all yeah. niggas be around all these robbing ass, talking about all these killing ass niggas, and then a nigga do the smallest thing and you flip, you flip city. It's like, that ain't real shit to me. Mm. Now, you're not, you're not able to harm me. You're not able to touch me or nothing. Like, now, that's where we draw the line. But it's like, if you're doing something where it's like, I seen it or my little nigga just did this, it's like, I really can't tweak out too much because it's like, nigga, all my, my niggas used to steal cars. Okay. What I, what I look like, it's like if you do that, it's like you not from this for real. Okay. You don't really understand it. So it's like that's why when certain things happen, I do let it slide. Just don't touch me. Okay. Then that, that's when that's when I don't really care what you done did. Okay, got Because I never, I never touched niggas. I never, all the illegal shit I did, I never robbed niggas. Okay. I never robbed from niggas. Stores is different. Oh, yeah. Stores is different. Well, you a looter. Yeah, like people, white owned stores, I can give a fuck, but gotcha. like, I'm not gonna see new hey, face outside, like with his watch Sorry, on. Sorry, Owen. That's, right. That's how y'all met, right? That's fine. Yeah, what? stole from my store. And, stole from yeah. all stores. <laughs> 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 right. That's crazy. Yeah. So let's go. Hey, let's bounce right over here to uh, Slim Duncan, man. Mm -hmm. Well, how does the Twin Towers start? Uh, well, the Twin Towers was walking and dunk. I was just as tall as them. I'm not official twin tower. Oh, okay. So you okay, gotcha. But I feel like I am though, cause the intro on them on them two mixtapes was produced by me. So he said, uh, on uh, this a KID production, fucking introduction. When him and Walker was doing that, okay. I made those beats. Oh, you so, made the beats on okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I, I made I made those beats um mm -hmm. for him and uh, Walker back then. So but, but it's like, you know, that kind of gave me the buzz. But me and Dunk met because we was fucking the same three or four girls. Three or four girls. Three or four. Yeah, on my side of town. Duncan don't used to come to Cobb and tear shit up physically with niggas and then sexually with girls. <laughs> and I had a girl one day. Yeah, it's funny because they they, they Derez, Duncan, I didn't I ain't gonna say I didn't like them, but I didn't like the way they moved. So so when they was coming to Cobb, I never really got initiated to them yet. Cause we was doing our thing and they was kind of coming up doing their thing, but they didn't really have a hit yet. Mm -hmm. But like every time I saw them, they was fighting, and I didn't like I didn't like that. I didn't mm -hmm. think they had to move like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then one day, they would have beaten up niggas for nothing. Yeah, they they won a lot of those fights. It was just so many of them. You know what I'm saying? It was just like they were like it, they were too deep. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a shorty, not gonna disclose her name, that we both was hitting, called me one day. She married now. She probably is. Yeah, they always are. Yeah, yeah, they, they probably is. She gained a lot of weight too, unfortunately. Yeah, they always do. They, they always do. do. She real, she real, yeah, she real stocky. That's crazy. She real stocky now. 
<laughs> but uh, she hit me. She hit me. With, Waka was taken off, and Dunk didn't want to really ask for too many favors. Uh huh. He was looking for somewhere to record. Okay. And uh, she called, and and I'm gonna be honest. The first thing she said was like, you know, Dunk want to record. You want to get some beats from him? And I was like, no. I don't like how they move, bro. I don't trust them. Mm-hmm. And she was like, she was like, nah, that nigga cool. Like he cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he not gonna. He fuck with you. Like she put me on the phone with him. I was like, you know what? Fuck, let me let me see if he. I was like, he is from the hood though, so he might kind of he might have some understanding. It's probably something I'm misunderstanding about him. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got around this nigga. It was just something about that nigga. I was like, bro, this nigga is special. Like, that nigga was something about the I don't know what it was, though. It was like, he just had this aura. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nice guy. Yeah, that nigga had an aura about him. But he was like, as wild and commanding as he was, mm. he, was a, he was a sponge. Like, he, mm. he listened to me a lot. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. And um, when I found out that nigga was from Detroit, Dunk was from the D. And he li- and his, you know his favorite rapper was? Young Dro. Circle back. Dunk's favorite rapper was Young Dro. You know what I'm saying? And he could rap Lloyd Banks freestyles from front to back. It was weird how he was doing all of this. Mm. I, hey, bro, you you put me on to some ribbalism. Because he has switched his lingo. He has like, he switched his lingo. Like yeah, yeah. Dunk shit. family was from the D. Mm. You know what I mean? Out of here. Yeah, bro. But when wow. we got around each other, we started naming girls. Like I was like, oh, bro, we really like family. Like, And he was in the studio. This is how we got close. He was in the studio one day. Okay. And he was ad-libbing over his words. And at some point, I'm like, I'm about to tell this wild ass nigga this shit trash. Stopped him. I was like, bro, come on. I was like, bro, we gotta stop doing this shit, bro. This shit don't sound. Your chain swinging in the joint like it. This shit, this shit, not how you do. Man, show me how to do this shit, bro. I don't know what I mean. You know how you talking shit. Yeah, yeah. You uh, know, and and then from there, just just the days we became bros. So I taking my car on the road. He ain't had no whip. No, I had a suburban back then too. So he he got his first show. We started going on the road. I was driving. And so it turned into that. I started showing him how to format his bars. Give it, I mean, give me a punchline for this. I want to say this. I want to get a metaphor for because I was like big with metaphors back then. Mm. I was throwing metaphors on club songs for no reason. Right, right. And so he was just like, you know, and and and, and, and at that time, you know, there wasn't no the first New York nigga that influenced me back then, like in the club, was Frenchie. There, there wasn't a nigga that from Bricks Wide. Yes, there wasn't a New York nigga that had a, a, a the crowd singing his verse before Frenchie. Nobody. Wow. I, I don't care. I, and you, and I'm new face probably know better than me. There wasn't a nigga that kept it New York. F R E N C H I E. I'm about to call Waka. Tell him bring the ch- the shirt off. It was a song called Shirt Off with Gucci. Take the them. shirt off. That was the first time I saw a New York nigga have Man. a song word for word in the club. Hey, now that nigga he influenced me. He influenced me. Crazy nigga. Hey, free Frenchie. <laughs> yeah, free Frenchie, bro. Oh right. man. Yeah. So so those. That's how I got close to Dunk. And all that. That's how we became fam. Hey, man, you know, I uh, I interviewed uh, Dunk like a week before he died. You did? Yeah, yeah. It was him, Walker, and um, damn, who, who damn, who, uh, <laughs> I forget who the other dude was that I was um, interviewing at the time. Miss mm. Dale had brought him up to- uh, He was an artist too? 50. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was all three of them at the same time. I think they had a project together. I, mean, I wonder if it was the Rez or- it wasn't the res, was no, it? No, I don't think it was him. It wasn't the res. It, mm. it, it, it escapes me. I want to even go and say that it was his brother. Dunk. I want to say it, it, it's something that Dunk you brother wasn't doing up. no music, though. We had, had a brother. So, you know, with the, uh, do you still do that Toro business thing? Yeah, hell yeah. Word. Facts. Good money. And why you, but why you, so, money. why you cool with it at the same time? Like, cause sometimes to me, it don't seem like it's enough money in it oh, for no, you to be doing enough, it daily money. and with the wear and tear they put on your car and the possibility that it just might get stolen inside mm-hmm. a new Atlanta situation. You a businessman, Jack? Oh, hardcore. Okay. So, you know, in any business it's pros and cons. Yeah, you got so it's like, it, what, what, what business am I walking to where nothing going to happen? Man, I like what you just did to me. See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, stop being, stop, come on, come on with the I'm scary scared. shit. Stop, come on with the I'm scary shit. I'm making like a bitch. Okay. Now, yeah, somebody could take it. Now, you you do, I got it. I got an air tag on my shit. I got, uh, you know, the OnStar shit. I got, I, got I, I, I took the proper precautions to, just in case. So what happens if they crash your car, but they're not insured on your car? It don't matter. Turo gonna pay for the whole thing. Mm. Turo will pay for your entire car. They have up to like $2 million of like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a crazy check. Like, yeah, like the first nigga that stole my shit, they actually paid it off and I had to give it back. Oh, refund. Yeah, a, a nigga actually took my shit and drove it to Sacramento one time. The first person that stole it. Yeah. I posted that on Instagram too. How long is that process to get your to get your back? Because I know a I, I know like two girls <laughs> that had their shit stole on oh, them. Yeah. And they didn't get 
Nathaniel. Oh no, they did they did something wrong. That's cap. That's impossible. Oh, 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 so they scam us. That, that bitch was yeah, they, 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 they did something wrong. I knew Turo, it. I knew it. I Turo knew it. has up to $2 million to pay for every car. Okay. Whatever, like, they're-, they're She they're, lying to me. Oh, she lied to you. She lying to me by something. Bro, when the, when the first nigga, the first nigga booked my shit. Okay. He booked it. He claimed he got robbed at gunpoint in Birmingham. But that probably happened. He, I think he lied. I think he sold my shit. He then say- That probably stolen. happened. That, yeah, that, from that, there, that, that, that my car happened. was gone. These wow. motherfuckers put 7,000 miles on my shit. This is a true story. Wow. Dang. Keep in mind, I never found it because at this time I didn't have an air tag on my car yet. Okay. What's they, the air tag? Air tag is like an Apple. Like you could buy them. Like, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can put a tracking device on your phone and then you could. I'm going to tell you where to put it to. Put it in the air, put it in one of the vents or put it somewhere. No, no one, they had to break your car down and get it. Like you could put it in all your cars. Mm. It would last for, for about a year. The battery was not going to die for about a year. How small is it? It's small as hell, bro. Will like it fit inside a cell phone? Nah. Okay. Nah, not in the phone, but maybe but, in the case of one. Yeah, yeah, case, case for sure. You know what I'm saying? Outer box. I mean, you don't yeah. need it though, cause a, a, a phone already has phone, a tracker. Yeah, yeah. This is a separate entity. Just okay, like, but, but that's for the police. People, but like, what if I'm tracking this girl? Cause really, when people started using, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. People use it for. Yeah, that's crazy. Was, Apple started selling them because yeah. people would hook them to like little bands. You're supposed to put it on like your keychain or like your, your dogs. Some people your, put it on your their dog pets. neck. Or, yeah, work. Shit like that. It work. Some people it put work. it on kids. Mm. Yep. That shit work, my dog. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have it on there at first, so they took it in. The, I thought my car was gone. The okay. po police officer called me. The police officer. A police officer called me. Okay. Three, three months later, I lost my shit in September. I got my shit back in January. Holy cow! Called me and said, "Hey, you the owner of this vehicle? It's an impound. We arrested the, the driver because it was stolen." They changed the tag but left the VIN number. And then mm -hmm. they, they let the passenger nigga go because they couldn't arrest both of them. Got you. And then that's how I got my car back. They put almost 7,000 miles on my car. And Turo paid me 90 cents per mile. Mm. Word. Mm, yeah. Well, look it up, bro. Do, man, I'm, I'm going to believe you. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, sent me, they sent me like 6,500. It was a little bit over that. Okay. And paid for the damages because they clipped my wires for the OnStar so I couldn't locate my car. Mm. Wow. My car. Yeah, they clipped the wires so I had to get that repaired. And so they paid for that. And then they was gonna pay for the whole car until I got my car back. They was like, "Do you do you want your car?" Like, "Yeah, I want my car back." They was about to pay for the whole joint to Ali yeah. Financial. So, so what, I mean, what, so what was so significant about this car? Well, for me or them? For you? They like, like you would give me the car back if they were Keep gonna pay it, for it. Yeah. No, cause it's like, bro, you, you know, I think I put a down payment on. At some point, I would have lost because mm. all they would have, all they, I wouldn't have got that bread mm. because I leased my cars. Mm. I don't, I don't pay. I'm not cashing out on no car. I don't know why niggas do that. Mm. I'm not cashing out on no car because cars. If it's not lucrative, you losing. That's Cars, right. they, what's the word? Depreciate in time? Yep. They yep. depreciate in time, so that's why I have to have it on Toro. Don't know. All these niggas with all these extra cars for no reason, they kill me. I hope you're not doing that. I'm not, if you got two or more cars, bro, put, rent it out or okay. put it on Toro. It's some type of rap nigga that don't really got what he looking like in his video. Okay. My, my car's in hella niggas' videos. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> wow. Man, I don't even want, bro. Okay. These, niggas don't, these niggas don't own none of the shit they okay. driving, bro. But it's cool. It's a business for it. Got you. It's like a bell bonds, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's business and crime. Got you. Yeah. I'm already trying to think of a hustle. Like if I go to the auction, get a little bug, and then put it on Toro. The A to B cars on there killing too. Yeah. Oh, I used to do that. that. Hold on. I thought you was. That's a thing? Yes. Yes. Hell yeah, them $40 day cars, them bitches on there killing. I know somebody with like 10 of them hoes. Should be booked every yes, day. Yes, bro, book every day because a motherfucker come in here just want to go get interviews and shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Cheap cars on there killing, bro. Yes, my nigga. A lot of you not, Jack. That shit is good bread, bro. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you just got to you. You gotta set, you gotta put your settings a certain way. That's all. Rent got out, you. Rent out of like 95 Impala and a, a Buick. Bond yeah, that shit going to get booked, bro. Put, yeah. put, put on there, book instantly, two hours ahead of time. You just got to have a good system. Mm. You know what I mean? Have a good parking lot where you got to put the key somewhere. You ain't got to always be in. Because I don't be seeing, last time I got in front of somebody, they kind of recognized me a little bit. I didn't like that. Okay. And I'm an F-less celebrity, so I don't even know why that happened. Mm. F-less? What's it? F-less F is, that's pretty high. F. Yeah, that's F. pretty high, bro. What's the highest? It's um, a kid. Uh, no, no, not, not the highest. What's, the, what's the, like the worst? The worst is a Z. D. I so you can't be no Z. Damn. You just People be no say D-less. D? Yeah, I'm D then. I'm D. Not, dog, D is not bad. I'm D, I'm D. Nigga, you, can, you know how much love you get at Six Flags being a D? Oh, no, nah, I get love. I get love when I go places like, like but but it's not like TMZ not coming out when I'm coming out of Publix. Okay. Yeah, it ain't like that. Okay. Got you. My got shit, you. my shit. But, I like, but, I like where I'm at though. But do they know that you, that you a platinum selling artist? You know what I'm saying? You got credentials on shit. Come on, I mean, with the Travis some, Scott thing. Now. Some know, some know, some don't know. But 
do you want people to know? I don't know. I don't care. That so fame ain't it's not a thing. When it come to the bag, I want them to know. That makes sense. Talk to me about that. I, I'm saying like, as if, if I get contacted to do, to do something, you gotta talk to me a certain way. I'm not. I'm not like when I go to writing camps. If I do go anymore, because I don't, it's like I walk in there different than the other niggas. Even okay. if, even if they got a hunt, like a bunch of placements, niggas know niggas. niggas they don't even call me no more. Like like them top writing camp. I don't been to all the top writing camps. Okay. They don't. They don't. They don't want me in there no more because I'm gonna come in there like an artist. They don't. They don't like that. What, what do you mean coming in? I'm like pulling up in the same car that the, uh, the artist that you writing for is in. You don't want to deal with me in that room. And, and now 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 this this bitch ass exec nigga or A and R that really don't know, never wrote a verse in his life. He's sitting in here smoking hookah. And he got eight of us in here with one engineer, and we ain't never worked together. And you want me to come up with ideas for Chris Brown or, or whoever. That's the process. Y'all ain't feeding us. I'm not going for that shit, nigga. Cause, like cause when I, Jeezy used to go see L.A. Reid, he was like, I got the same watch as L.A. Reid. Yep. Yep. It's, like, it's <laughs> like, for me, it's like these niggas in here, like Hunger Games, though, they like rushing to get into the booth. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't pull up like that. I don't do that because I'm, because as an artist, I done already... You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't do that with Tra like like with Travis Scott placement. I didn't do that with Travis Scott. How did you get it? He, because I don't know if you remember this, but there was a short time where Travis Scott and Young Thug was doing a. It wasn't even a podcast. It was like doing something on OVO Radio. I don't know. Y'all remember that shit? Yeah, they, 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 they did it like station. twice. They had, a little they had a station for like two days and shit like that. Travis Scott kept playing a song I had called Chase. I didn't even know this nigga yet. I had a song called Chase. He had left the arena on Snapchat one time, did it. I couldn't get in contact with him. I'm DMing him. He like, I'm like, bro, you know, check your shit. Like, you keep playing my shit. He tweeting it, like, doing hella shit, like, with my name, but not hitting me up, though. And uh, he played the same song on a station with Travis Scott. And Quentin called me, because Quentin was Quentin Miller. The Quentin Miller thing? Quentin Miller was listening to it. Okay. He called me like, bro, Travis playing your shit. Keep in mind, at this time, another nigga named Travis, Travis Scott was on his bus. He was managing me. A, a guy named Travis Peterson, he got a company called Major Touring Buses. So Travis, J. Cole, everybody using his bus. Drake, Future, everybody uses his buses. So I'm, I call, I said, Travis, bro, call this nigga. Like, I don't have no way to get in contact with this motherfucker. He won't answer the, the fucking DM. So Travis texts him. Hey, my artist, Sari, you know what I'm saying? Like, you keep playing his shit. And Travis Scott was at 11th Street Studios downtown. He was like, oh, Sari out here? Tell a nigga pull up. And that's how I got in the room with him. I pulled up. He was working on that, um, the first album that he went platinum for, uh, Birds in the Trap, Swing Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. And so I went over there, bro, and I played this nigga a hundred songs that I thought he would use, and he skipped every single one of them, like, in three seconds. I never seen no shit like that in my life. You know, you know like, the labels, they do, they give you, like, 10, 15 seconds. Like, Travis, his, but to see a genius like that, it was a blessing for me because I learned. I learned how to start songs at that time. And so every time I would play like my best shit, bro, and like I'm talking about like that shit came on, boom, boom, boom skip. Wait a minute, mother. Like I never seen no skip shit like that in my life, bro. <laughs> he was turning shit. I'm like, bro, oh, this is my part, and he'll change mm -hmm. it before your words even come on. I, I'm like, ass, bro, skip. What does skip. that do to your confidence? I was fucked up. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not about to get. This. I'm not about to. Because at the time when I went there, I went there to do a song with him. It mm -hmm. wasn't for the placement. Okay. It, it, it was like, he was like, bro, let's do a record. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if he gonna keep this motherfucker or this mine, but I don't want this motherfucker for real. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm playing them shit. And I had just did a song called Love Olympics the night before with my producer, Jag, where I, I was doing this cheat thing where we was sampling me. We were sampling my own voice into the beat. So like on that on this song, is that's my voice in the background. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm like, man, let me just play my R&B shit. Cause Travis Scott didn't have no R&B shit. So I'm like, man, let me go back to the trap soul sound and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cause th th at this time, like a lot of people didn't really want that sound when I was creating it. So um, before like Bryson and shit was before coming, Bryson, yeah, like nobody wanted that. You had that shit. before Bryson. I'm not gonna say me and Bryson had it before him, but I was out before him for sure, for sure. Mm. Bryson, you heard that shit, right? No, no, bro, bro. I mean, bro, you, you heard what a nigga said. He, he, the, he the homie though. He the homie though. Okay, he, cool. he, he. But Bryson, you will slap the shit out that nigga. Though, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, bro, okay. I, right. In one of Bryson's first interviews, he shouted out me and Kaylani saying that he would want to work with us. Okay. So it, it, it was never nothing where. You gonna let him live, right? No, nah, no, nah, that, 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 that's the whole. We all influence each other. He influenced me before too. Got you. So when Travis, I played this song, he picked it immediately, like immediately, mm. and um, he was just like, "Yo, you know, we gonna because B Simone was in the studio with me. She was she, the footage of it that I have. She was recording it. Mm. Yeah, that's I went in there with her, cause cause I, when I had to pull up that day, we was just kicking it, and it was like to go. 
she had a, we just rolled together. She she recorded the footage that I have of him listening to that song. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Be Simone, be, yo, she was on the ground. She wasn't viral yet, though. Mm -hmm. Right, right, she right. She wasn't viral yet at that time. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and so, anyway, long story short, um, y'all know Sycamore? Yeah, Sycamore. Uh, YG. You talking about the tree? Talking about help with YG? Nah, Sycamore, like, I think he's like behind a lot of Travis Scott shit. Like, yeah, with oh, YG. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Dude. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway, Travis doesn't cut the record in front of me. Okay. We end up leaving. He cuts it. Literally the next day, Sycamore hit my manager and was like, yo, Travis wanted to throw uh, Bryson on here. Because keep in mind, this time, Bryson wasn't doing songs with nobody. Like, nobody was getting a feature from him. And so he, Bryson hops on it, calls back again. Hey, um, Travis said he want to keep the song and take you off. And, and, and <laughs> mm. <clears throat> So I got, a, I got a decision to make now. Now I'm like. Yeah, how does this make you feel, man? I'm like, do I buck on this shit and say, give me the song and risk him not even giving me the song? Or do I give it up? Because at the time, my producer, Vince's Jack, never had a placement. Okay. Mm. So I'm like, I got I to get him this placement. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't blow this play okay. for a mixtape song, okay. Travis Scott. Maybe it maybe would have cranked me, but I'm like, I got to I gotta do this. Okay. So I said, go ahead, bet. You know what I'm saying? And, and it turned into a lot of shit at that time because it was like they paid late. Like they act like the album was like in like, you know how long they took? I took to get a check from that song, bro. Five years. Dang. Five. And, and it was some minimum wage shit. It was like we was getting like a couple grand every three three months. Like it wasn't, it wasn't shot like, bro, I could have made this shit in the hood for real. Dang. I could have sold a couple three fives, bro. Mm. To some bitches. Like it made that shit for real. <laughs> so what was the lesson from that? Um, I, I will say this though. If you I got, could do it over again, how do you? I'll probably do it again because I'm that unselfish. My, I had to get those plaques for my producer. Mm -hmm. I had to. We had to get those accolades, mm -hmm. and there's like to be able to talk that heavier shit. Because you gotta think, as far as influential people, Travis Scott, Drake, you know I mean Future, you got a few people. So it's like you want to be in that. You want to be in that elite thing and say, okay, I've written and produced for th these niggas. Mm -hmm. When I do walk around and talk my shit, if I'm not an A-list nigga, I can not hold my weight and say, have you ever worked with any of the head, the head honcho niggas? Okay, we, we've done that. And, and that gives you a little bit of leniency in the game. So it's like, I had to do that, you know? And yeah, they, they, they did that. They put the song out unmixed. Like, I never, they never even got a session to that beat. Like, they just took that joint and going to put it out, yeah. And then like, Mel and Moose, Produced the original song that sample, so I had to give them a chunk. So it was me, Vince's Jag, Melon Moose, and then and then my manager had to be arguing in a fucking email with Ray Daniels, and you know that's a beast. Oh my so, god! So we had to deal with this nigga fighting for Melon Moose, gotcha. and that shit turned into now nah, we ain't giving this shit up because they didn't even produce on that beat, but they mm. they produce, but they did give me the beat for free that I that I used on my album. So I said mm. no, let that slide. And Melon Moose, good people. Who taught you all this business though, bro? I learned it. Nobody. You educated yourself. I, le I learned to make mistakes. Okay, okay that. I, le I gave away a thousand free beats, my nigga. Like on, in Cobb County, like I gave a beat to every nigga on every side of town. Like, like, bro, I had a beat on Play a Circle, nigga, with two chains and dollar, like that they ain't even pay me for, cause I was giving, I was doing this Zaytoven shit where I would give away the same beat pack. Mm -hmm. And one day it landed on, like I was on a CTE mixtape. I was on, I wasn't even supposed to be on there, cause they was beefing with Brick Squad. Like, I had a call dunk. Like I don't even know how that nigga got my beat, but mm -hmm. it was, it was Bama. Mm -hmm. Did you have a studio, like I interviewed Roscoe Dash, you helped him with a song or Yeah, studio I, when, when he was ATL, yeah, I was recording. I was recording Roscoe Dash when he did All The Way Turned. I recorded All The Way Turned Up. That's I formatted that whole joint. Man. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Fact. That's what I'm saying. He not f That you little C. I, I, I recorded C. All The Way Turned Up in Cobb County on Windy Hill, bro. When that nigga yeah. was coming from Gwinnett. Bro. All The Way Yeah, I recorded All The Way Turned Up. I gave CEO Charlie the session. Wow. When, when Roscoe wouldn't give it to him. Because he wanted the session for Travis Porter. So you yeah. work with Travis they, Scott they, and Travis Porter. But they ended up doing it though, right? They tricked, he tricked they me, wanted, he like, tricked me into versions. it a little bit. Yeah, yeah different two different versions. versions. Yeah, but he yeah. got- Yeah, one with Soldier Boy and one in with him. Yeah, he got the session from me. Cause I, cause, cause Roscoe was leaving, you know, back then rappers was leaving without their session. They, you, get a, you get a nigga the CD and the MP3, they was great. Holy cow. Hell yeah, they want That's why they stopped real doing shit. It. Yeah, but 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 me, I would keep all my, I would back everything up, even if you was a random nigga. I would keep you. I was like, they nigga might crank one day. Mm. Cause back when niggas was making fun of Waka and all that, like, nah, they were like, oh, these niggas can't rap. All right, these niggas fuck around. Like, if you looked at Roscoe record, you'd be like, this shit can't work. This nigga was doing eight stacks, and then he'd do his ad lib and stack that shit twenty times. 
So niggas in there, and if you hear it from the other side, you think, ah, ah, you thinking like, this can't work. But I was like, nah, this nigga had a little voice. He's singing without the auto. I ain't had auto tune on my Pro Tools back then. Mm. So I was like, this nigga on key. That with him? Yes, bro. Like, my nigga was a lot of history of, of that shit back then. So it was like, yeah, I recorded that shit. Like, even when the CTE and the Gucci and the Brisk Squad shit was going, it was a conflict of interest because Dunk was family, but like, Bama was my nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't know Dunk and Bama was about to fight. Outside of Club Cali on Wendy Hill. Only I know that. Cause I put them on the phone. Mm. I put them on the phone because I felt like they was gonna shoot each other one day. I think I I know this story. A lot of people I, know I think it, but I they, don't, they don't know I, how I it think happened. It, that dunk might have gave me this, you know, and it's the, the same interview I'm he, telling he, you. And it's funny, he probably don't he wouldn't talk about a lot of shit, but like I know what happened because I felt like at one time somebody was gonna die from it. I, that, that's what I didn't like. Mm. It was like this shit was real. Like mm. Duncan was taking it to the extent. Yeah. Like they'll catch you with a CTE shirt in the underground. You was yeah. going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And some of it got caught on camera. Some of it didn't. Is I seen it online. Yeah, yeah. I so, asked him about yeah. shit. Like, nigga, yeah. why you but, do but, that? But but Bamba was Bamba was a solid nigga to me. So okay. it was like I couldn't just tell him I don't fuck with you because uh. he spent some money with me and shit. So it was like one day, Club Cali and Red Train. Everybody was performing that. So I was like, one day these niggas might get into it. So I'm like, let me prevent this. Okay. I put them on the phone. Okay. Because one day they both was going to be at, near the same club. Okay. Club Cali was like capacity this night. Okay. So uh, me me trying to be the median like I always do. I'm like, okay. bro, I'm like, dunk, bam, me a good nigga, bro. I need y'all to find a way to get y'all big homies to squash this. Mm. So I put them on the phone. Okay. Just dolo. Without your homies listening and all that, it started off cool. And at one point, Bama, they was talking cool. Like, man, it ain't really nothing. My nigga, you know, them niggas, it, was, it started like that. Mm. Bama said something. And was like, yeah, man, because you know what I'm saying? We don't want this shit to goddamn turn into a bloodbath. And as soon as he said that, Dunk was like, What you trying to say? Fuck, fuck you talking about, nigga? It, it, it could be what it be. And then the Bama returned it and was like, All right, then, nigga, that's what it is, then, nigga. Shit. shit. And then they, they came to Cali at the same time. And what happened was Dunk got there first. So everybody, the whole city knew. So the promoters were so scared to let them in, they, they wanted to say no, but they couldn't. So they let 50 niggas in. It was like 50, 60 niggas, Dunk came. They got there first. When Bama came, they didn't want to let him in. And when Dunk and them heard that they came, everybody came outside. And that and somebody pulled a strap out and that shit just went. Nobody got shot though. Oh, bro, that night I, I went like this a hundred times. I was like, it's no way nobody died tonight. It was two men. I never seen a hundred niggas that was beefing and it turned into nothing. Cause whoever pulled that gun out, God bless them. Mm. And God even for them. what you just did, they there. shot it in the air. Man. And so it made you scatter instead of, he didn't shoot it forward, he shot it up. So everybody just just left. You know what I mean? Whoever I'm, did that shit say a lot of lies, bro. I'm still scared. Um, Remember, that that back in the day, crazy. everybody used to shoot in the air, man. Right. Wait, but you got that, but we, 20, we yeah. 23, 22, we young. Yeah. We young and dumb. It's like you an adult, but you still kind of stupid for real. Mm. Well, I, I ain't even had no kids yet. So it was like, we weren't thinking like, we thinking like, man, the worst this could be is a good little brawl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe a nigga a get shot. Bro. We stupid as fuck. We not thinking. Yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? Man, the Atlanta used to have some really amazing ass whoopings. I was in my car. Yeah. Oh, no. A lot of good ones. <laughs> yeah. What's I'm talking around? about Man. niggas' heads used to look like A lot of good ones. Martin off did it when he fought Tommy to get my urn. <laughs> Shit like a lot that. Of good, a lot of good ones, bro. Stomp a nigga ass out till they turn the lights so, on. Who, whose fault is that for that stopping? Like what? Like, you think it's like on like the parents raising the kids, not teaching them to like what? squabble and just, you know what I'm saying? What, what I'm shooting? Saying, no, I'm saying like that whole growing up, like we grew up at a time where people still fought. You and shoot, then, shot and the then fade. You, yeah, you shot your fade and then maybe, you might even be end up being cool with the yeah. motherfucker because it's like a respect thing now. We didn't. Oh. Um, the internet Boom, changed yeah. the game think of so? that. 100%. It like, when, people getting embarrassed from losing yes, fights. Yes, 100%. Because see, you could, you could get your ass whooped back in the day and then you could still tell a nigga, hey, yeah, it was a tie. Yeah. <laughs> but now they Damn. know you got your ass whooped because you can get online. No so camera. I got to kill you. Yeah, they embarrassed, bro. I, yeah, and that's self esteem. Yeah. It don't go nowhere. It's embarrassing. Your kids know you got your ass whooped. Yeah. Your mama know you got your ass Fact. whooped. I broke up with a girl because she got her ass whooped before. A girl? <laughs> I can't have that on. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Like, that damn. His fucking mom, could, bro. She, she was a good That's, person too. Yeah, damn. clearly. She's like damn. so shallow. Yeah, I feel like damn. good people are the people that probably get their ass whooped a lot. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
Bad people know how to fight uh, real good. Yeah. I love I, I love the essence of fighting because yeah. and I even love the people that can't that won't fight. Let me not mm. say can't, mm. but but won't cause it either though. Mm. So so it's like all the real niggas like 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 my brother on right here. Mm. He's very non-confrontational. Mm. Not pussy, mm. but just He know how to say I'm sorry. But you know how you, you you know how you got that homie that's just, <laughs> like, like he's very nice and cool to everybody, mm -hmm. very, you know what I mean? So it's like the moment somebody try him though, it's it's gonna be up in my eyes though. Mm -hmm. And he's always like sigh or just you gonna get him killed. Yeah. No, nah, it ain't even that. It's just like <laughs> it's just as the, as, this, as the homie, it's like you got those homies that's not not gonna I don't wanna say he's not built like that, but it's like mm. I got the heart to deal with certain shit because we don't bother nobody. So it's like yeah. if it go left, it's like yo, oh yeah. this, you know what I mean? It's, it's, but it is that it is that time where he always do stuff. It's man, not a good time to be built like that no more. Be you gotta unbuild yourself now because you can die. <laughs> I mean, can, well, a, can a nigga can a nigga touch you right now though, Jack? I I, I get the uh, whole they might go to the car. If a nigga right now go, you know, smack you upside the back of your baldy. Okay, <laughs> what's the scenario again? Mm. I mean, I, I mean, a, 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 a nigga just just playing with just, play, just playing. Don't even know you. Just just hit the. Stop. You know, just, that's what you're gonna do. And he do it again. I'm, I'm, if he keep going, I'm gonna call the police and press. You, you know, dead serious? To, yes, I yes, one hundred percent. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah, for real. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I'll be forty two next month. I feel like Jack Lyon though. Wait a minute, me too. <laughs> I feel like Jack Lyon is ass off. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. listen. I right, person that's watching this right now, leave this in the comments. Now, if I were to say, man, I wish a nigga would put his motherfucking hands on me. Do you, you believe know, that? Time I see Jack, I'm gonna goddamn slap the shit out of him. I got to, I got to see if he really built like that. No, 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 no don't I'm, do all that. I, I don't that. wish a nigga would. Don't do all that. I wish a nigga wouldn't. No, don't do all that. Please don't. <laughs> no, 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 Jack, that's the thin line, though. You ain't got to do all that, though. Okay, just put like, that I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the loud niggas. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Like, I, like we not, we not gonna bring that. But you gonna yeah. defend yourself. I probably rebuke cause. you in the blood of Jesus. We're gonna match energies too, though. It's yeah. in the Bible, bro. You fight fire with fire. I'm not never going against that. You no, know, I know what you if you talk about giving a nigga my lighter and whatnot, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm just far saying as I go I'm, with this fire. I'm just saying, you you doing something to me, bro, you must want something to happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> with me, it always, it always and I've told you this before, me, I'm just I'm just a thinker. And and, and like you said, this how you said you gotta unbuild yourself mm -hmm. nowadays. It's like, bro, we we might turn on the news tomorrow and Publix got shot up. Yeah. Or so so it's like now like even when I'm checking out at the grocery store, I'm have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day, sir. Yes. I'm, Cause and it's not like being scary. It's no. just it's just I'm always gonna choose living yes. over potentially not. And then when you find out why motherfuckers is getting killed, it'd be the dumbest shit ever. Yes. So it's like yeah, I'm, I'm don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna let someone like totally fucking punk me or no. play with me, but it's like I'm, I'm I'm trying to live. I'm trying to keep it moving. It almost sounds gay. I feel like, you. Well, well, you know, <laughs> let almost. me tell you something. You know I am going to finish this life out. You know what's you know okay. gay? You know what's gay? <laughs> this, if it has this, to be gay. These are the two Moist. biggest. These are the two biggest black balls in the, <laughs> okay. in, in the world. Is that on purpose? Tell them again. Purpose? I, I, on purpose, bro. Tell them about your ball. But I don't. I don't <laughs> even. I've been trying to figure out this whole time. Like, do I touch them? Do I put my hand on it? Like, do <laughs> yeah. it? I, touch them. I, 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 I don't even know. Dog, man. But then I saw you put your arm on it, so I figured it was a safe space. Is this on purpose, bro? It's, you it's, picked your balls. We're, we're, we're <laughs> it, bro. It was Jack, just let bro, it happen. So you, so you never know. Just nah, let nah, it happen. Hold on, bro. Hold on. It was a video. It was a video you got on the internet one day. You said so. And then like, hey, a, hey, yeah, 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 no, no. Why no, you always bringing up old don't, shit? Don't, don't, duck this shit, nigga. <laughs> a, a nigga, you said something to him, and then a nigga next to him looked at you sideways, and you said something like. Oh, Jack, Jack gangster for real. Mm. Hey, Y'all know what I'm talking about? That Jack was when I, no, that, that, Jack, that was, Jack looked, I, was like, I was 28. What, motherfucker? Oh. I was 28. You've matured. Oh. Yes, I am no longer that nigga. I feel like Jack get busy, though. I, oh, yes, Me. I do. Yo, Young Jack. Working. <laughs> See, man, nigga be lying, bro. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Get busy Jack, living. Jack stocky, too. You got that big, you got that, nah, that I don't Tyson do that shit. I don't, I don't do that shit, no. Oh, so it's a no mo thing? No mo. Yeah, yeah I, no love, mo. I love that, I though. believe. I can die. Real, real you should have seen real him, real him real. in Uptown yeah. back in the day because he had to fight because, you know. Real, Jack, I knew it, though. I knew it. When, <laughs> yeah. I, when I seen that, I was like, Jack, I knew it, bro. Different Jack, times, Jack man. Jack throw it off. Jack throw it off for real. Different times. They be on stage and say, kill yourself. You had to <laughs> fight right. back after that. Real, Go play in traffic. You ain't funny.
type shit. Yeah, well, one hundred percent. A dog fighting every goddamn night. <laughs> Real Who shit. Ever wanted it? I used to be a bouncer at um Velvet Room Cap Compound. Word? Uh, yeah, I can see it though. That was the way look like. I would see Jack, but I ain't know football player or something. A, Kind of work, right? Right. Like, yeah. What up, Jack? Yeah, we, Jack, it was a security guard, bro. I, I was. Like, I was. He never down. come in. You was always stocky. Yes, one hundred percent. Remember, I would cock diesel. For real? Cock. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't see diesel. Jack Slim. I couldn't see yeah. you Slim with a chain shirt. Yeah. For real? <laughs> Nipples out. Yo. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. They getting busy in there. Damn, but 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 now you you not you not. No, 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 no. One hundred. Not for no reason, though. I'm just saying for the for the in defense. Yeah. In self-defense. Yo, like, yo, 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 I'm 42 years old. I'm saying nigga come to your crib like they did LL and he had to put his hands on a nigga yeah, but, half yeah. naked. I mean, it happens. But, but, but you be, you do be wilding out though. No. I'm saying like, I've seen this, like I've seen you go to walk in a room and like security kind of just put his hand up and okay. like, it, I thought someone was going to get shot yeah. because he touched you. No, I wasn't going to shoot him, but I just don't like to be touched by men. Men shouldn't touch us though. <laughs> Yeah, it, it can get it can get awkward. Yeah, Mission, I don't. But security, they don't get a pass. Um, you, you, it depends on how they do it, though. Yeah, you yeah, gotta. Yeah, yeah you, 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 it's overzealous security. Yeah. Like that's yeah. too much. Bro. I, hate yeah. the, I hate the dumb, overzealous dumb, search. Yeah. Dumb niggas that was like oversized since high school and they overused that shit. And I'm like, bro, don't don't do too much. Do your job, but don't do too much. Okay. Don't don't make don't make my feet move. I like where you're going with this. He made he made he made me yeah. lose my stance, and I felt yeah. I was like, damn, I'm kind of strong. I don't know how a nigga made me do that. <laughs> And so, so it's like once I felt like I shifted, I'm like I'm about to get kicked out of this party. Yeah. Did you see that video of Gilly in the airport, and, and Gilly was like, "Fam, oh. just raped me, bro." Yeah. Like, yeah. TSA. Yeah. Yeah. Bro was yeah. just. Oh yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah, he was Gilly doing... was hitting it like, bro. For real. Yeah. yeah. Turned around and got him again. <laughs> like, Facts <Gilly> though. <laughs> Some niggas got rules though. You was raped by your father. Was I raped by my father? No. no. Raised Whoa, Jack. Jack. What? <laughs> He wanted to say what you raise, about? Jack. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I thought that's what he said. Raise, did you have your pops no. in your life? That's amazing. No, no. Yeah, I, like, well, I feel well, like you had do? your daddy in your well, life. do that? <laughs> Rape is crazy. No, nah, I, I, I lived with him for a couple of years and everything, but my daddy was always in and out of um, in and out. jail. Yeah. You, you you, Y'all ever had a male figure in your life just give you certain rules in life and you just like, that's law for you? Like, like my pops was like, never let him in, disrespect your mother and your sister, never let him in. Call you out your name. Never let a man put his hands on you, even if he's shack size. So I was like, "Yes, sir," and, I, and I, I've taken that to like the, the everywhere I go. It's like, but it's also like you know, don't don't touch a man plate for food. Don't don't take don't take from a man. It's like you also gotta have the lines of respect too, mm -hmm. so that if a nigga do cross those lines, he had to be going out his way. You know what I mean? Like like there used to be the saying, "It's a it's a hundred million bitch ass niggas on earth. Why did you? Why do you think I'm one of them?" Mm. Well, why are you playing with me today? Because there are niggas that's walking around like, I wish a motherfucker would, loud as hell, mm. and a nigga that want proof. But I'm not that person, though. Mm. I'm walking around hustling, feeding homeless, mm. helping kids, you know what I mean, working. That's, I'm collabing with real niggas. That's what I do in life. I'm, why am I ever being bothered? Why is a nigga ever looking at me like, I want to see if he, if he with that? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's why I get bothered. Mm. That's why I'm like, I'm about to make sure that you spread the word, nigga. Tell, you know that whole, like, tell your friends about me is like, I got to set an example. Not with a gun, but it's like, I got to. No, Jack? I'm like, no, call the cops. <laughs> no, nah, I think it'll be the last example you ever set. Yeah, yeah. Um, One day, huh? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, never let a man put his hands on your mom unless he loves her. That's mm -hmm. different. Um, what was the other rule you said? Like, putting his hands on me, you touching know. You. Yeah, Rest touching me, calling me out my name, and, like, just disrespecting my moms and my sister. Like, that's, that's cold for me. Got that's, cool. that's cool. I ain't playing about that. Understood. Understood. One, one of my favorite things, looking at your discography, and you talk about like rules, like you the features, man. How do you kind of choose who you were? I've seen Royce, you know, mm -hmm. the list goes on. Yeah, T.I. got me that feature, though. So is, I, I is can't it, take credit it, for that. He, he got you Royce the five nine? T.I. got me that feature. Mm. Sick. That's a good one. Talk to T.I. But is it your choice to feature? Like, you know, J. Cole is famous for albums with no features. Like, is that a thing that you strive for, or do you love so, features? I, I, lo I, I feel like... I never really like, I like when, I, I like for artists to do that to show that they can stand alone. Mm -hmm. The side of it I don't like is, bro, this shit start with the people. It's like, if we don't unite, then it's like, collabing ain't nothing but uniting on, on songs. Fact, fact. Yeah. So it's like, I want to work with, I think everybody is dope. So in some type of way, even if you're not as skilled as a, a lyricist as me. So it's like, 
Now, yeah, when, when it comes to the legends like Royce the Five Nine, that's automatic. You, like when Lloyd Banks hit me, like I'm like, I don't even know why you're asking me. It's done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm not like Dame and all the athletes. Like yeah. if you've inspired me any type of way, bro, that shit's free. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like when Ti called me about that, because I had just did a song with Ti in L.A. I, I flew out there to do that with him. Um, and so once we got cool, um, and I was already cool with Clay too. Rest in peace, Clay. Right, Clay. Clay. Yeah, Clay actually texted me before asking my management situation, but I was so loyal to Swineback, I couldn't even. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? But not saying we was ever gonna get there, but he would always ask me like, "But what's your situation, my nigga? I feel like you need to elevate, like you know what I mean?" Clay. Yeah. So shout yeah, to Clay. Yeah. Shout to Clay. Um, he, he always used to check. I used to see him on Peter Street a lot. Too too drunk. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, Ti called me one day and said Royce did a song with him, Saha, him, Saha, and uh, Royce, and um, Black that, Savage, Black Savage. Mm -hmm. They had a hook on there that they didn't like. Somebody did, and if I don't know if any if anybody ever did songwriting before, the hardest thing to do is to do a hook after somebody already did a hook oh. that you heard already that they didn't like. Mm -hmm. That shit tough, and then you got the legend saying we want this perfect. So um, I was like, man, just send it. I knocked that bitch out 15 minutes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knocked that bitch out. I sent it to T.I., put me in contact with Royce. Royce called me. He was like, yo, I want some harmonies on this. I, kno I knocked that shit out. Mm -hmm. He called me back, and, and then they ended up saying they was going to fly me out to L.A., shoot the video, and then the album ended up getting nominated for a yeah. Grammy and shit. I so I, I got that because T.I. called me and said, yo, we, we need you to save this hook. That's, hard. That, that's how I did that hook. That's yeah. hard. Yeah, that's hard. Hey man, mm -hmm. so you do we kept skipping over it, man. Um, the the podcast, uh, mm -hmm. Le, Lord Owen. Yo, yeah, I want to know how you guys met and what's the podcast about and when does it air and you know what I'm saying who have you had on the, you, so know, you know, you know, you know, it's crazy. I actually met Sai. I actually met you back in the day, Jack, and I actually met you before Sai. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, but you you was helping out with like a show on BET called One Shot. Yeah, and uh, oh. you, you, motherfuckers. And, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Nah, and so, but 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 you were like, when they was trying to pick who was gonna advance, you was kind of behind the scenes, like instigating and hyping shit up. And I ain't gonna lie, there was I was a I was I was you was in the, Atlanta uh, city. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. Okay, and, and yeah. uh, there was this other white boy that rapped, and you thought he was nice, and I and I happened to rap right after him, uh -huh. and you made us like battle, and I yeah. and I ended up killing Buddy or whatever though. Uh -huh. But I so I ain't play you though, right? No, you didn't play me. You just you didn't you hadn't heard me yet, but you thought there was no way I was gonna be nice as this other white okay. boy. Damn, Jack. So I chose you, right? Yeah, the, by the end of it, like, it was like it, it was like this is, this is when I first met Fort Knox. Fort Knox, oh, yeah, Fort heavy, no yeah. heavy, heavy. Fort Knox was out there too, so I so I ended up. I gotta I, get Fort Knox. Okay. Yeah, I but, love Knox. Yeah, same. But yeah, so yeah. so that was actually I, I met you then. I, I ended up being like a, a final four finalist on that show once, uh, it, once it finally aired in like. Oh no, no. But, you, Jack. But but but, but right, at, I'm all the way a legend. <laughs> But like so like that like later that yeah. night after I met you Knox was ha was hosting some event like some mm -hmm. beat battle yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. Edgewood uh -huh. and he invited me out there and like introduced me to the crowd or whatever and and Sai at the time was like a a guest judge he was judging the beat battle but I didn't know Sai mm -hmm. so when they when they introduced when Knox introduced me to the crowd Sai like he, Knox was really hyping me up you know what okay. I'm saying and he does that to everybody right but Sai didn't <laughs> Sai didn't know who the fuck I was. So Sa took his mic and was like, "Who are you though? Like, can can we like hear you rap? Are you nice or something like that?" Uh, so then, so then I, I started like rap. I grabbed the mic from Knox, started rapping, and then me and me and Sa kind of you know kicked it a few times. He would br he would invite me to the studio and shit. But I burnt you in a cipher, nigga. Just get to it. That never happened. Mm. That never happened. Oh, you talking in the studio? Uh oh. No, come on. Anyways, uh -oh. we did cyphers in the studio. I was cooking. I was he always killing him. Uh oh. I was always killing him. I bet you won't do it now. Well. I mean, uh, he don't want to do that. I don't even know if he raps anymore. Ooh, but, um, oh, wow. Oh, God, but, um, damn. Oh, oh, called you old man. Podcast is old now. man. <laughs> podcast is now. We still, you know what happened to podcasts. They, they do podcasts. They stop doing music. Dig. I can dig it. You know what I'm saying? Word. Hey, dog, y'all got me tuned in. I, I, I can't wait to hear this podcast. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, it's good. We, we, we shoot on Tuesdays, but we you know, we air on Tuesday, shoot on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And um, but, but how we got tight was, we um, after all of that shit, I was going on tour with Black. Black had that free black tour, I think. Oh, you talking about on Eric. Moon Like a 808. Eric. What? Eric like Eric Bellamy. No, not black. Six oh, no, no. Black, no, no, yeah, black. You know. Black, Still, man. Oh, six. the new nigga. The, yeah, I'm tripping. That's yeah. the wrong tour. Yeah. Got you. You ain't, okay, got you. I thought you was talking about That's girl. fucking hilarious. He's talking like, about black, the r &B Yeah, nah. Bro. Skip the, nah, it was 2019. <laughs> Eric Bellinger. <laughs> Eric Bellinger had a sold out tour. 
and I had I, I was the person that came out after he headlined. Wow. Um, and so and on that tour, I had put out a tweet because I needed somebody to drive. I, I wanted to go out with like I didn't want no entourage. I, I was sick of moving like that, so I was like, I want a specific team: drummer, cameraman, driver, road manager. You know what I mean? And so uh, I made a I made a post, okay. and I actually had somebody else I was about to hire, and uh, O hit me and was like, Yo, man, I'm about to come out there, and um, I'm in LA, man, but I'll come out there, and uh, I'm down to drive and shit. So he he actually ended up coming to drive. Mm -hmm. On the tour with me, and just did, he, we, and from there we just like became brothers and shit, man. And, but I like this dude. Yeah, he 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 funny, he funny as hell, bro. Like he a real star with it though. So I, I, I and since then we've been bros, bro. And I was like, once I started the show, I asked him if he wanted the opportunity because he actually watches podcasts. Mm -hmm. he, he's a he's a podcasting ass white Watch boy for real. Okay, so what's a good podcast? Put us on the three good podcasts That's what right I was about now. To say, three yeah, good yeah. podcasts. Yeah. Um, I mean. I fuck with I fuck with Joe Rogan's podcast. I do too. I, I just started fucking. Yeah, I fuck I fuck with Rogan. Yeah. Uh, I fuck with Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn is dope. Yeah, he's dope. He, okay. You have a lot of Especially. good guests. Um, I fuck with Joe Budden's podcast. Um, I do too. Yeah. Uh oh. I do. I fuck I fuck with Budden's podcast. I don't I don't watch it faithfully, but there's a lot of key moments, especially even like right now in hip hop, like with the J Cole Kendrick shit. <laughs> the I, I, takes I, that Jay gives. Yeah, I feel like the takes that he gives on on those matters in hip hop. Mm -hmm. I like that it comes from someone that was in it. You know what I'm no, saying? No, definitely. So, definitely. So, 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 so that's why I fuck with Joe. There's a lot of dope shows out here, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, I watch a lot of people do their thing, and even like clips. Like, I, like even if, when new, everything new face posts, I, I catch along because I feel like if I'm not in the streets as much, he's going to inform me. That's why I got He's going to be the news. So it's like, that's why I have So it's like, it, 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 it's dope knowing. It's like a lot of people, but like a lot of people influence me to want to do it. Yeah. When I seen the niggas that remind me. Right. Uh, you know, like, like you know, Rory and Maul, Maul showed me a lot of love on Joe Button podcast before anybody did. Word, word, You know, um, um, Gilly and Wallow, like Gilly, you know, Gilly the big homie. He mm -hmm. he actually took me to the, 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 one, the one motherfucker that made me want to say, oh, I'm about to buy this, mm -hmm. was Gilly. Because Gilly, he came to Philly when I shot the video with Freeway and mm -hmm. bought us all cheesesteaks and then took us to Jersey where they, him and Wallow knew building now, that's was. that's love. And he walked us in this little ass room and I was like, oh, it's four cameras, four mm -hmm. mics, these the cameras. Black Magic, I right, boom, I'm gonna go buy this at Broadcast wow. Hub at Linux. Wow. So Gilly was a nigga like, yo, this is the setup. And he showed me. Wow. And once I synced it, you know what I mean? And and that was like, now I'm about to, now I'm about to do this for real. Okay. Because Gilly put me in the room. Okay. And was like, this is what this shit look like, That's nigga. All it takes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They, they, you know what I mean? So we got kind of got cool through that. You know what I'm saying? I gave him some weed a couple times when he cause he was calling Atlanta weed trash. I, I, yeah, he was. Yeah, he still do. Yeah, he still day. do. Yeah, so but 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 it's like just seeing those with the podcast, those motherfuckers, Cam and Mace, like them niggas that I grew up on, those things influenced me. I love yeah. the chemistry too. You know what I mean? Especially yeah, that's the history. A, that it is what it is. It's a super dope podcast. So good. Yeah. I was watching it this morning. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Is there so. anything, you know, a lot of things, a lot of people saying these podcasts is so like y'all talked about it being saturated, but there's a lot of things people I see comment like, none of these podcasts. They just sit, throw these mics away. Is there some things with podcasts that like absolute knows that you don't like about some of the podcasts that's going around? I mean, I'm I'm gonna say this. I don't like when motherfuckers get to throwing shots at niggas. That that's the only only thing about podcast. I, I think I think Nori and Joe had a moment in and I love Noriega, but it's like when we do the whole like I, I think they already cleared this up, but they had made a moment where they was like making fun of certain people that I, I talked to him about that last who week. Podcast, oh, yeah. podcasts are failing. It's like, yeah. mm -hmm. it's like, oh, nigga, yeah. it's like, don't do that, bro. Like, don't, don't do that whole, like, give, give niggas game. Or if not, just, it, this shit don't ain't no, it. yeah, 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 it's like, I, I just, I don't like the, the shade and some of the, like, some of the joints that's like overly trying to like, do, do, that's trying to kill so, the but women. You know, but you know what Nori was saying when he did that? He was talking about he gave a lot of niggas the sauce, and he they, he thought that they were going to, uh, you know, be under him and come do uh, the shit. With, but they went out by themselves, and they went out and failed. And so that's what his thing was. But he didn't articulate it like. But that's that. not failing though. F failing is if they, giving, if they failing don't do is it giving no up. more, if they don't do it anymore, they yeah, try yeah, it for yeah, a minute yeah. and then yeah. like, hey yeah. yo, fuck what you talking about? Okay, I'm for sure. It's like cooking shows, in. people having cooking shows, and sports shows, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah it, he did. He didn't finish the. He didn't finish the thought, and it came out. But they know better than that, Jack. It's like what? But, but that, what, ain't, ain't that what they call podcasting? Though. I get that. But you like, know, that's what they do. What lure. What nigga on earth would make fun of another nigga for starting something? Well, I, I mean, yeah. once again, I, 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 I think that's what they, when they, they make the term potting, they call it, that's the way that you lure folks in. 
Yeah, but you know I, don't, what I'm saying? I don't. But I, I'm, I'm I don't like that though. I'm with you. I'm with you on Cause, that. Because because we because we might see each other on a red carpet. Mm mm. You but but hey, listen. So, sorry. I'm a, and I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> sorry. Not with that shit, bro. You gonna give him a sticker? See, see, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not hey, with sorry. that shit. I'm not with that shit. <laughs> we gonna talk on that red carpet. Uh, okay. Well, look here, sir. I know you got some more famous shit to do. <laughs> For sure, bro. Hey, man, I really appreciate you coming over to. It's, a, uh, it's an honor thing. to get back in front of you, though, Jack. Like, I, I, 100%. We're gonna I, do this on your show next time. I yeah, fuck with. Sure. Hold on. So, the, the, the guest, the other host you talking about was New Face? Am yeah. I bringing with you? Oh wait! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Erica oh, oh, too. she's late too. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Really late, nah, because yeah. he was saying that like I'm That's like crazy. you ain't had to do all that. I'm like if it was, I thought it was new face. I thought you was talking about you talking about Shorty right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She well, was late too, though. Erica Duchess. Oh, okay, just, okay. Yeah. How, how you doing, Quinn? Yeah, she's the one that's late now. Okay. Okay, all right, salute. I, well, we can't wait to have y'all. I, I need you on the show, though, too, though. You can come on your own time. Man. Pause. I got to say my, my first moment. He said be late was, for his shit, too. You got, I got, <laughs> y'all good, y'all good. copy of your CD. Soon, something out of nothing. I got, remember getting it at uh, Flat Kicks over there on Peter Street. Damn, Flat Kicks, That's damn. the only physical copy of music I got. But, I, you know, once I have people, like, in my collection, I, I keep my eyes on it, and I just want to say personally, you know, yeah. the grind, I always... Algorithms fucks up, but every time I see if there's a new release, I always at least get Thank good you, music. Thank you, bro. Thank you. New face salute. And that, that was my first big mixtape, man. And I want to personally invite all y'all to my uh, concert too, at Center Stage. We gonna ride in the Sprinter? Right. Yes, sir. You got a Sprinter for? I got, I got a Sprinter and a black truck. Whatever y'all need, I got y'all. If y'all want to pull up for real, for real. Nigga, bro. hey, nigga, you you sitting hey. there, motherfucking. Bro, May 18th, Center okay. Stage. Me and the Res Deshaun. All right. Okay. Headline Center Stage. All pull right. up. It's going It ain't gonna be no Hollywood shit, and I don't do backstage. Okay. So cool. come through. All right, cool. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. Well, until next time, let's take some pictures. Y'all see Sarah, the, the, uh, the kid, and goddamn Lord Owen. We over. We out of here. Let's take some pics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take us out, bro.